Hello fellow survivors and welcome to the continuation of Torchless Craftsman, the custom challenge that I made that involves starting naked and then crafting everything you can wear. And that's it. You can't pick up any clothing that you can put on. You have to craft everything to wear. In addition, no torches. Torches are banned. And that's what this challenge is about. If you haven't watched part one already, I recommend you check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But this is part two. And in this part, it's all about forging and beginning the hunt. So in this video, you'll see me head towards the forge and get going there. And then I'll start looking for animals to get those precious hides to make the gear that we need. And with that said, let's get to it, survivors. Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to the Torchless Craftsman Challenge. We are here in Pleasant Valley where you left me and this is the same as before. The challenge where you start naked and can only wear what you craft, which currently looks like this for me. And then in addition, torches are banned, which is why I'm holding this lantern. But we still have a ways to go. We got some stuff crafted, but we don't have a bow and we're missing still quite a lot of gear to craft. So. There's still a, a bit of a journey ahead of us. And with that said, well, let's get to it. Okay, so we are back here in Pleasant Valley. And uh, actually, I got a few things curing here. And I got some stuff I'm going to take with me. I'm not going to really stay here, except for one thing. Now, I actually just noticed now that one of this is 99%. I partially noticed this because of you kindly pointed it out to me. So we're actually going to craft the deer leggings. But before we do that, I need to drop a few more things because some of this stuff is fresh. So we need to drop everything that's fresh. Because this is cured. Uh, can we actually craft, though, the pants? We need four cured guts. Do I have four? 92 and 91. So these two... That's the next uh, workbench, actually. These ones, I need these ones. The rest are no good. Uh, so what we could do, let me think, because let's douse this for the moment. So we save the fuel. Do I have any lantern fuel, actually? Yeah, I do. Need to find this. We've made a little list here. Make their leggings when it's cured. We need to find tools to repair stuff. We need to go forging. And then we need to hunt some more stuff, basically. So there's quite a lot of things to do. <laughs> Um, now, I would like to make these uh, pants, but these are not quite cured yet. They'll be cured in like half a day. I think the best thing is to take it with us and then make them instead in probably, probably in the dam or in, in camp office or something. So I think we're, we're going to do that. I think we're just going to take it with us. So with that said... We're going to go to the barn from here and then to Signal Hill, probably, and then to Mystery Lake, I think. I don't think we need to go to Thompson's. Uh, so let's do that. Let's take some stuff with us then. So we have, uh, we need most of this really with us because we're going to make a bow. This is cured. In here, there is one sapling that can stay here. So all this stuff that I left there can stay here. Uh, but we're going to take all of this stuff with us. I smell, but that's okay. Because I want to make it on the road. And then we have all of this stuff. Quite a few things to make and read. I'm not sure if I need to bring all these books, actually. Let's leave some books behind. A lot of books. Uh, we can leave these. Take one of these with us. It doesn't really matter if I started reading it or not. Anything else to leave behind? Uh, we can leave these marine flares behind. We won't be... No, actually, because I can't use torches, let's keep the marine flares. Because uh, it's the only defense I have against wolves. We have peach pie and we have rabbit pie for carry capacity. That's good. And uh, we got all these teas for warmth. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it then. I think let's go. We can leave this stuff here because we're not going to... 
really craft anything with that yet. Uh, we got cooking oil, we got flour, we got salt. So this is excess stuff we can just leave here. Okay, so let's let's leave then. Let's head to the barn first, and then probably single hill. All right. Bear is around. He's right there. There he is. And I smell, so I'm going to attract him for a while. It's not particularly cold, which is handy. So we're going to head now to the barn. Um, the main reason I want to go there is because there's a stim in the barn. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I have one stim, yeah. Uh, I want the stim. And also I want to see if there's tools there. Now I can get tools. Back where I came from, Skeeter's Ridge has tools. And uh, they usually spawn there. But I'm just going to go and grab stuff here. If this is a deer carcass, I am definitely going to get it. Because it's a clear day. I can use the mag lens to start a fire. Which is good. I think this is it's probably a corpse rather than a deer. A yeah, nice clear day. Good day to continue this run. So a lot of people like the first part of this series and want to see this part two. So here we are. And of course, we still need to forge and we need to find a bow because getting the uh, bear coat and uh, moose satchel and also the bear coats, very difficult without a weapon. Ankylus. All right. But we need to do that. There's Mr. Wolf. I'm just going to ignore him. I could get him to hunt a deer for me if I wanted to, but I don't really need to. We're just going to walk the dog, as it were. Which is to uh, just have him follow us. I'm pretty much just going to auto-walk over here. And the moose spawn in this region will be over there by the birch forest. Or up at Unnamed Pond. We'll see. We'll find out. Yeah. Unusually clear day in Pleasant Valley. Not usually this nice as this. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, we've still got a few things to do. We need to... We got the methods... Or we got the tools to forge. So we need to go and do that. So we can make the bow. Once we have the bow, we can get bear pelts, moose pelts, wolf pelts and become fully kitted and as long as there's an interest i will continue this run until we have crafted everything that we can and then we have reached the end of it i suppose and torches are banned there were some suggestions in the last video that maybe it should be allowed to use crafted torches because it's like every, it's a craft only run you have to craft everything so someone suggested that should be able to craft torches and use those and that's a good suggestion because you can at least use resources to craft them but one of the drawbacks of that is that uh, then it effectively becomes like a normal run you can just light the torch whenever a wolf is around or craft a bunch of torches and chain them for a long period so i think if we allow craft the torches it becomes a bit too easy i would say Let's quickly check here. Sometimes there's like a drink or whatever. I don't see one right now though. Woof woof woof. Die if I don't warm up soon. Nothing. Go inside. There we are. Okay, let's loot. Not a lot to loot in here, but there's some. Uh, let's just have a look around. I'm hoping to find tools here. There's often tools in this area. Usually simple tools, but that's fine. And there's also the stim. I want the stim. Okay. 
And let's check the car, including the back of the car. Got nothing here. Then come in handy. There it is. Wait, I didn't check the uh, visors. I don't think there's anything in these, but nevertheless. And over here, there's nothing. Let's check upstairs then. See what we got here. Got an archery book. That's okay. I could use uh, this. No, we'll pass on that. We'll pass on this too. We don't need it. I have to remember not to use the hack so if I find more carcasses. Okay, we'll take the book. No tools though, so far. Guess we can take the whetstone. Charcoal, sure. Okay. Uh, anything here? Alright, not a lot here this time. Including no tools. Could go to um, Thomason's, but I don't really need to. I'm going to go to Signal Hill instead. I think we'll sleep here for one hour, though, just to warm up a little bit. So let's just drop all our fresh stuff, which is all of this. Yeah, I think that's it, right? And let's just sleep for like one hour in here in the car. There we are. One second. Okay. Now we are warm. Uh, this is <clears throat> it's only one hour, but one hour of curing is still good. I mean, it's 124th of a day. My cure percentage, maybe. So now, let's see if I can uh, eat something, actually. Something heavy, ideally. I don't, did I need to bring the carrot? I don't know if I did. Uh, we could take this, but we're not heavy, so if I eat this, I can carry more stuff, but I'm not heavy, so I don't really need to. I think instead we will... We actually don't have that much food. Hmm. Uh, well, let's eat this. I don't think this will give us food poisoning. And let's head up to Signal Hill. And again, we're going to attract every predator in the whole area, but that's okay. Let's just get there. Uh, it's up there. It is a slight detour to go there because we're kind of heading past Pleasant Valley. Uh, sorry, past the exit to Mr. Lake in a way. But nevertheless, we'll go there. Stop by a couple smaller spots along the way. Well, I have... Yeah, I got the hammer, yeah. And just go from there. Hey, there's tools. Nobody needs this anymore. Fantastic. Out here in the thingy. And we got scrap metal, so we can repair the hacksaw now. We'll do that. First opportunity. Great. There's one more use of the hacksaw and it'll, it breaks. Okay, so I'm going to run a little bit. But this is a very good day. It's still early in the run. And it's a clear day. I have some clothing. And it's getting late in days. So I'm fairly warm as far as it goes. This is a good uh, good day in Pleasant Valley, unusually good day. But now it's actually only mi minus 8 and it's going to continue getting warmer as well. So cold is not an issue right now. Might become an issue, but right now we're okay. And we've got all our extremities covered up, you know, so frostbite risk is low when I say that. <laughs> but we still have things uncovered, so... We basically need a coat. And we need a, um, we need a pair of trousers. We can make the trousers very soon, though. After the next sleep, we can make them. I'm not 100% sure where all the ptarmigans are here in Pleasant Valley. If I see some, I will grab one. I do also need a bit more food. That won't really be an issue once I get to your lake though because there's uh, cattails and quite a few deer carcasses too how many feathers do i have 31 okay uh let's go up uh 
via forest cave and that, which is up here. We can grab some cattails here too, but not that urgent. <clears throat> the main reason I want to run a little bit is not because I'm getting cold, but because I want to get further away from wolves that have started tracking me. Because wolves and bears have already started tracking me ages ago. And the reason it's not so cold is because on Interloper, the world gets colder every day until day 50. As a wolf. We need to go, we need to go around. Uh, and if you get clothing early, you can actually stay ahead of the curve. So it decreases by 20 degrees over the course of 50 days. So after 50 days, the world will be 20 degrees colder than it was on day one, which is quite, quite a lot. Oh dear. Hmm. I might get this there. A lot of food on it, and it's a nice day. Let's get this there. It's at an incline though, which is a bit annoying, but... There we are. Oh, I don't have Tinder. Oh, God. Ah, uh, okay. Well, screw that then. Because I need to get rid of the wolf in that case. Uh, maybe I should just get rid of the wolf and use the flare. Nah, I'll tell you what, there'll be other deer. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. I didn't have Tinder. <laughs> Whoops. And it's a fresh deer kill too. That's right. I don't really want to use the flare just to scare off the wolf and then craft Tinder and possibly attract other wolves while I craft. I don't like crafting in the open. Even if it's just a few minutes, it's very risky. Because a, a wolf can zoom, zoom up to you, you know. How oh, is my first play risk? It's getting there. I do need to make Tinder at some point though. I should have done that back in the farm, but I didn't really realize. So a quick look in here if there's anything to grab. I don't want to go too far in. Uh, oh, this is a bit risky. We'll be quick. Quick, quick, quick. So, exactly for this reason. See, that, that was really close. <laughs> and he's stuck in there. Cornered. I mean, I have the flare, but... I might have to make... Do I have a f fishing tackle? No. Because I could fish. I need to have this out. I don't see moose markings, so the moose does not spawn here. Uh, if, if he kills this there, I will create a uh, some tinder but I might go for the rabbits instead okay I went for the rabbit instead I grab the rabbit though okay go for the deer please. I need to drop something. Get that there. I'll grab some cattails. And this is Tinder, so... He's gonna go for the deer, okay. Nice. The deer might un outrun him, though. Well, here we got some Tinder, at least. See, if he catches the deer, I will uh, light a fire. Because I need to be aware about the frostbite risk. You can get full frostbite risks. You can have 10. <laughs> so your entire body is covered in it. <laughs> it is possible. Okay, let's see if this wolf manages to... Oh, wow. Catch this deer. And I'll grab it just for the food's sake. Now 
we know where the moose spawns in Pleasant Valley too. I need to keep an eye on my frostbite. Okay, it's still a little while. But now that we are cold and have frostbite risk, I need to be a bit faster on my feet. Crackers. Mm, I guess that's it. Okay, where did the wolf and then go? Are they... Has he killed it yet? Um, look like I might actually leave Signal Hill because I got the um, I got the tools now. I don't really need anything. But I heard something here. No, okay, I have no idea where the wolf and deer went. If it is dead somewhere, I don't know where. <laughs> I might actually just leave now. I was going to go to Signal Hill. On Signal Hill you can get decent loot. But there's nothing we really need there. Like, we, we could get coffee, for example. Coffee's good. And, uh... That's great. But then the other things we would get there are things like... Uh, we might get boots. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I thought I heard something. There's a wolf up here. Oh, sorry, a bear up here. There he is. It's Malmy, of course. Ah, oh, he spotted me. Um, most of the stuff you get up in Signal Hill, which is good, is things like clothing. You might get combat boots or combat pants. You get coffee, which is good. Uh, we might find a, a tool. Um, and some other stuff. A flare, some other things. But I don't really need those things. Not really. But I think... Especially now that I found the simple tool. I think we'll just leave it. And what I'll do, I'll go straight to Mystery Lake. And then in this cave, there's probably going to be a deer carcass. And I can start a fire there. I've been so hungry in my life. And, uh, and warm up. And cook it. Goodbye, Mr. Bear. You, with animals like that, you, it's very good to have the headset because if you listen closely, you can hear the animal before you see it coming over the hill. But in addition, it's not just that. It's also that you need to be aware that there could be an animal. That even if you can't really hear it, right? Even if you didn't hear it, you, the viewer, or if you play and uh, you just don't hear it, you just got to be aware that it could be there. <clears throat> So always be careful when you cross a hill like that, especially if you smell. If you don't smell, it's not as big a deal, but if you do, there is a risk of a predator being there, and then um, then it's really dangerous. So always take a wide path. Like if you are going to go over a hill and you don't know if there's a wolf or bear there and you don't have a means of hearing it, Always try and go really wide, like go across the edges or something. So that if there is a, an animal coming over the hill, you have a chance to actually react. Uh, if you don't, then you could be dead. <laughs> yeah. So be careful. We're going to grab some coal. Can also be a deer carcass here, actually. Uh, but I don't think there is one today. No. Might be further in, though. But we are warming up now, so uh, I think the frostbite risk goes down, actually, 54. But I think this counts as warming up, so we might just um, continue. Let's see. Sounds like we have a blizzard now. Take the wood. Use for cooking anyway. So many cans in this cave. <laughs> I can't fire. I think maybe then there will be a deer carcass close to the exit. And sleeping wise, we only really have one wolf in front of us in Winding River. Let's just check down here too. Uh, so I think we'll sleep in the. Not the dam. You can't actually sleep in the dam. There isn't a bed in there. But there are beds in the. Trailers. A load of coal in here. Nice, some food. Let's grab this one, why not? Why not? 
most of the cans don't have names. I'm assuming that of those 165 backers, which are Kickstarter backers, they just, when they made them, contacted all of them and asked, do you want something? And only a handful replied, you know. Um, let's see here. Hoping there is a deer carcass over here. I need to refuel this lantern soon as well. A lot of coal though, so that's good. I don't see any carcass. Oh, there's a, there's a corpse instead. Is there a carcass in here though? Not then. Ugh. No, a lot of coal though. I might, in that case, eat, eat some stuff that makes it easier for me to walk and carry things. The good thing about this is that we shouldn't um, we shouldn't have an issue with wolves now, even though we stink. <laughs> because we can just walk through the blizzard. We might get cold, though, is the only thing. Okay, let me see. Is this gone down? Yeah, it has gone down. I think we will be okay for the moment in that case. Let's eat uh, a peach pie first to get some energy back. We got a headache. That's fine. How much are we carrying? Quite a bit, but that's okay. And then we're going to eat a rabbit pie as well. And now we can basically carry more stuff. We will, we will, we will make a fire though. Um, either here or... Um, we'll see. Maybe in the dam. I'm just going to go back in and save it. Okay. Alright, how to save that. Let's see. I think we gotta keep going for a little bit. I might make a fire because I got the Eastern Frostbite Risk. I might make a fire. Um, halfway to the dam because I think we won't be able to get it before Frostbite Risk. We need to check, uh, actually, the, a good place to make the fire, assuming that um, I can get there, which just should be fine, is the cave over here by, um, uh, by the end of the river, because it can, that's a shelter location, and also it's a um, possible bedroll spawn. How much wood do I have, actually? Uh, some. I don't think I'm going to loot much in the dam. Because we have to craft everything. But there's a few, few places to look nevertheless though. Okay, so let's, when we get to this cave, let's check our frostbite risk. So we really smell, but at least because of the blizzard uh, we don't have to deal with wolves there shouldn't be wolves out there uh, wolves are only really out in the blizzard feel my hand. if they were already nearby when the blizzard started and in this case I was indoors so the wolves should not be here little shortcut let's have a look here Could also cure things there if you want to. Bedroll? Bedroll? No, no bedroll. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. Okay. Got some food though. I'm actually warming up here, how about that? Now how's my phosphate? It's 65. I can probably make it to the dam actually. Probably. Um but do I want to? Gosh, I have so much stuff to cure still. Um, let me think. I need to refuel this. Uh, we can actually... Let's drop this first. Because I want to use this part. Okay. And let's just see. Yeah, 
Do I have scrap metal now? Did I pick it? Yeah, I did. Uh, while we wait, uh, let's... Uh... Ah, we got so many matches, and this is a finite type of run. Um... Torches are banned. I think we can make... A fire here, maybe. Fire striker, too. Let's use a match and start a fire here. Let's warm up a little bit. Uh, we can uh, do a couple of misc things, reset a little bit. If the weather clears up, that's good. But if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. We'll just gotta get rid of this frostbite, and then we'll keep moving. There we go. And it's already kind of warm in there, so I think we just put these in. Yeah. And let's just drop everything needs a cure, just because it cures uh, a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. While we're doing this. This is all cured, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, water situation is okay. Food situation is okay. I have this to harvest as well. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Let's make some water. While we do this. So let's make one liter. And harvest this guy. And not with the hacksaw though. Uh, but with this. Actually what we'll do. We'll do one kilo. There we go. Now. How long does it take to repair the hacksaw? 45 minutes. And this is... How long till this is melted? 20, okay, then I think we'll just do this instead. Grab that. There we go. Then we take this water. Make another liter. And then we're going to repair our hacksaw. There we go. At least now it's something in there. And we can also now, if we want to do this, but it's only a few minutes difference, so it doesn't matter. And then we got that, so let's just cook the, the rabbit. Where else we go? That too, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Cook that. Too heavy. Looks like still going. Okay. There we are. Uh, do I need the guts? I don't know if I need the guts. Do I? Quite a little bit of guts there. I guess it doesn't really hurt. Seven minutes. Four minutes. Eat this. Yeah, we can grab the gut. Might as well. We we'll use the we'll use the axle. There we go. Could have made rabbit pies, I guess, but... Bannox, oil and flour. Gives some calories, but... Pancakes. Acorns, yeah. Could make that. Stew. Could have made rabbit stew, actually, if I made some broth. Gets a lot of calories. Need one more carrot <laughs> for this one. That's a lot of calories. If I get another carrot, then I can probably make this. Let's maybe also this. Let's put that that here to heat up. And I also got this. Which we can heat up. And I think we're gonna go in a second. Need a drink. Oh yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> Eat that. Let's fill up our belly a little bit before anything. Let's eat um some of these cattails.
There's a few more cattails to be had. I mean, got these pies and stuff too. Uh, and I think actually I want to eat one of these. So we're still gonna go a little while. Headache. Okay. Take that. Take that. And we can actually make this. 15 minutes. While it does that, there's anything here to make. Guess we can make a herbal tea. I mean, why not? Let's just prepare also these. We we'll have to drink my water, but that's okay. Let's wait to eat this a bit. Have a drink, and now we can go. Okay. Pick all this stuff up. No torches though. And we're heavy but not... Not super heavy, as they say. This is... Ooh. I'm not sure, but this may not be an actual blizzard. You have to be careful. It's possible, hard to tell, because it's dark, but this may be just wind <gasps> and fog. I don't think so though, no. This is, I think this is still a blizzard. We're gonna go up here just because there's maple. Always up here there's maple. Sometimes there's a deer carcass, but I'm not sure we can grab that. Maybe we can. It's sometimes here, sometimes it's uh, across the way. There's a deer carcass. How much is one and a half kilos and some hides? I might uh, grab it. Now that I repaired the hacksaw. Just for the hides. Uh, yeah, let's do it. See these books. I have read none of them right yet. Yeah, let's uh, do it. Let's make a little fire here. To harvest this. Can we do it here? Protected by this? We need to yeah, you can. Some place to escape this cold. Uh, why can't I? Here we are. We got so many matches that it doesn't really matter. Now, I am very conservative with matches usually, but in this case... It's a bit different because this run kind of ends when I have crafted everything. Although it can continue as a normal run after that, of course. But that's kind of the end goal here. You gotta craft everything you can. Come on, come on. Uh, or get as get as settled as possible with crafting only. Let's put on one coal and a couple of these. And I think we'll just harvest the meat first. There we go. All this gear is slowing How down. it's barely warm actually. Let's put another coal on here. Oh. Really? That's what they're doing. The guts first. So many guts. Fifty one minutes. It's fine. Pick all this up again. Okay, we're gonna grab this. That's what we really want. 54. Oh, that's really long. Uh, but I think we'll do it. The alternative is to wait until it's forward, but... Still good. Oh, the fire blew out. One got cooked, the other one didn't. But... We did get a hide, though. We did get a hide. Now, I'm actually... Let's see. Now I have to be a bit careful, because there's a wolf here. And this wolf could come and ambush us. And it's very hard to see anything at all. Okay, here's the wolf. I think the wolf is distracted with a bunny. 
This is not the only way down, by the way, but... Okay, he's going for... He's going for a rabbit. I'm very heavy. Gosh, it's hard to see. Dark and snow. So I think the wolf is over there. Right in front of me there. Yeah, it's very hard to see. But I think that's where he is. Yes. We're gonna have to scare him away. And then just walk into the dam. Frostbite risk is surprisingly high, considering I've been warming up for a while. Okay, we got another bunny there that can take a hit. I can grab this rabbit if I want to, but I don't really need it. I'm gonna let it go. Here's the wolf. Go away. Gosh, I am so slow. Let's uh, wait a little bit, but I want to refuel this. Not completely, though. Always want to leave a little bit left in the um, jerry can. Because if you don't, if you, if, you, if you empty the jerry can, it despawns and you don't want that. I mean, you know, jerry can is not <laughs> essential to a survival run. You can get rid of it if you want to. But... Uh, they're just more efficient in terms of oil, especially in your base. And I think we're going to dump a lot of this stuff in Trappers or maybe Camp Office. Maybe Camp Office this time. Uh, because that can be like our connector base. There's the other rabbit. Good old Barry took a hit for the team. Very hard to see anything, but in this little connector region, Winding River, everything is um, kind of linear. You can't really get lost as such. Now here, there's a few things you can check out, um, but there's nothing really that we need since we can't pick up clothing. Is there anything at all that we really want? I don't think there is much we want anymore. I'm going to check here anyway, though. Let's uh, have a little think about that when we're inside. Oops. Can't run. Oh. Check out this unfortunate fellow. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to go across the dam now and into the... Uh, into the broken window to get into the dam. I'll pick up the scrap metal for forging and repairing the hacksaw. Oh, now we're good. We could also break something down if we want to. We can't sleep in the dam. We don't have a bedroll and the dam actually does not have anywhere to sleep. But there are trailers outside the dam and we can sleep there. The only problem with going through the dam at night is the aurora. If the aurora hits, we're kind of stuck. Because it's going to electrify the wires. And that's going to make things complicated. It is possible to get through it. But it's very difficult. Yeah, no deer carcass here because of the, uh, the one that was where I found it. Grab some wood and stuff. Is that a book? I'll take it. All right, let's have a quick inventory look here. Let's remind myself what we need. Here's a cooking pot, which we don't really need. I can pick it up, I suppose, but because I already have hacks, so I got tools. So quality tools will be better. Sometimes there's quality tools in here. Actually, I know where to look for that. Uh, more flares, I guess, are okay. But other than that, we have everything. We have the hammer. Um, food, I guess, is the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing we really need as such because we can't wear the clothing anyway. So, uh, 
yeah just food really quality tools maybe and food that's about it and i can't be able to loot every nook and cranny in here since we can't wear clothing anyway and we have whatever we need but i will check a few places over here yes we got it quality tools nice that indeed we can use seeing as i'm here i might as well open this the quality tools will speed up the arrow crafting process it will make it so we can do it half the time it is great speaking of great uh -huh. and um we can also repair the simple tool with it <laughs> and there isn't anything we really need here we'll have a look around a couple key areas and take stuff with us if we find it but there's nothing really need as such so yeah we're very slow because we're tired but not much to do about that really we need to get outside into the trailer there is a wolf in the way though the wolf can be an issue so we have to see how that goes but we do have a few flares so i think it'd be okay uh i will just look around these places I often do that. If you have everything you need, especially if you're heavy, there's no point looting everything. And places like the dam have a lot of stuff. So if I need something in particular and I'm still missing a hammer, for example, then I will look everywhere and be very thorough. But if I have everything I need, except for maybe one or two things that are not important, there's no point looting the whole dam right now because we're already heavy, we're tired, we have everything we need. There's nothing really to be found. It's just more of the same things to be found. So we don't really need to loot it. So what I very often do is that when I pass through areas like this in a stage in the early stages of the game, when I already have whatever I need, I just pass through. I might loot a couple things. For example, I'll open this. Uh, nothing there. And that sort of thing. Then I'll leave the rest and then we'll come back later. So in the early game you often pass through regions you loot a few key areas including a few um uh, key locations in those areas and then you kind of leave the rest of the map and then after you have become sustainable with the bow and all that stuff then you go back and you go region by region and you just um start combing the areas now, if this was a normal run where I could wear stuff, then maybe I would be a bit more inclined to open all the lockers and things in case um, there's some clothing that I want or whatever. But right now, seeing as I have to craft everything and I have all the tools I need, I think we are okay. I will possibly break down some shelves, but I think we'll actually do that in the trailers outside. This was almost scrap metal. Uh, I don't think there's anything I want to check upstairs. I also have enough water, so I don't need the toilet water. Uh, it would be lantern fuel is the only thing. So I think that's the only thing I would want. Because I'm burning through it quite quickly. Okay, all the wires are done. So if an electrical, if a aurora hits now, it doesn't matter. We could actually craft something here, uh, but it's a bit dark. We'll do it uh, later. Let me think. Uh, I think I can believe pretty much everything. I'll check it another time. I don't need anything here. Just food, maybe lantern fuel. That's about it. So I will check this corner here where there sometimes is fuel. But other than that, I think we are good. Yeah, let's check here. No, okay. Here there can also be a jerry can in here. Not today. We'll check this. Okay, now we are out. But we smell. We need to get to these uh, trailers over here. And we really stink. But we do have a flare. 
there is one wolf that can patrol this area. He, he can patrol right here where there is uh, the fence. But he could also patrol down by the bridge. So there's different areas he could he could be in. Let's see. Let's see if we can get inside. Gotta listen for the wolf, really. Don't hear him right now, but... If he's not there, uh, he's heading for me. <laughs> okay. S looks like we should be okay. In here, there's a bed too. Oh, you can go in either. The other one's better because there's a better bed there. We'll be right here. Let's just quickly go here. Yeah, we can sleep in this bed. It's fine. Let's drop all our stuff that needs curing. So that's all of this. All of that needs curing. And uh, let's just have a quick look around. Is there anything here? No, I think we'll sleep. Oh, soup. I want to break down some shells for more scrap metal, but we can wait to do that until the morning. I don't need much, though. Okay, I think that's it. So let's go here. Let's have some food. Let's eat. Uh, not that, but we'll eat this. I keep the peaches for pies. Uh, we can eat this. That doesn't matter if we get food poisoning at this stage. Oh, speaking of which... I just want to die. You'll be alright, Will. We just... Could I take this? But let's just drink this. There we go. And then we have some water as well. And then we sleep. Sleep 10 hours. Be right as rain. We won't recover any health. It's the only thing. Okay, we are back. Okay, all right. We woke up. We are fully rested, but we didn't heal anything because of the food poisoning. Now, I should continue right now to camp office, but I am tempted. Actually, I think I have enough to make these leggings. So I got three. Is it four we need? Let's have a look. And a three, okay. And then guts, two guts. These are hides, so let's just put that here. Uh, fresh gut, cured gut. See if we can find any cured guts in here. Uh, there. There we are, four. So now I can actually make the desk in pants. It's gonna take the whole day, but I'm I think it's worth it. And then we also reduce one more frostbite thing. So I think I'm gonna do that first, and then this can stay here and cure while we do it. And then we have one more thing, and we're not really in a hurry as such. So let's go. We might get cabin fever, but I don't think we will, but even if we did, it's okay because we um um, uh, because we're going to go outside and travel some further, so it's not not a big deal. Let's see. So we're going to do this crafting then. That's one. It's going to take the whole day because it's twelve hours. It might actually be more, but I think I have sewing kits. There's some crafting that requires a knife, but uh, this isn't one of them. All right, let's see. So it's dark here, I can't really see anything, but it's still fine. So we click here and we start with this and let's do like five hours. And we're gonna dehydrate it, so. The rabbit pies are ruined, I suppose. But I'll eat them even if it gives me food poisoning, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's see, they get ruined really fast. What can I eat? 
Uh, eat this. Then have a drink. There we are. And then uh, keep making it. Seven and a half hours. I don't know if we can go that far. We'll put four hours for now. If I have a load of lantern fuel, I can do the whole thing, but I don't have enough, I don't think. We could put as long as we're able to, but I think we actually have to come back the next day. Or we can just take this material with us to camp office. Or we can hold for an Aurora. Okay, well, we have it here now, like, in progress, so we can just carry the stuff. Night. Let's head back to... Let me just quickly open these, in case there's food in here. Not low on food per se, but... Uh, would be nice to have some more. Alright, it's getting dark. Well, it is dark. Let's go into the trailer and go from there. Uh, let's see... I haven't had the wolf on. Oh god, almost knocked my coffee over. I thought I heard something. Sound like ptarmigans. I say that all the time, everything sounds like ptarmigans. Actually, let's quickly loot in here. I haven't been in here. They have a better bed in here too. But that doesn't really matter. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we'll check everything just because it's small. So I'm good. <laughs> That's good because it's going to get ruined anyway. Yeah, socks, which I can't use. Except for the cloth. How much cloth do I have, actually? Uh, five. Yeah, that's probably fine. We might harvest this, actually. Hey, peaches. And I guess that's it. Okay. This light is dwindling. Let's go in here. Uh, how long until daylight? It's still a little while. I think I would prefer actually to keep moving. Let's see here. Uh, let's also refuel. Not all of it. <laughs> let's do like that. Yeah, that's good. We got some heavy stuff we're carrying too. We don't really need, I suppose, but we're carrying it anyway. Oh, uh, can I repair this? I think I can't because it's in the dark. Yeah, I didn't, think, I didn't think so. Okay, I think in that case... Let's just keep moving. Right, let's take all the stuff. It's a little bit <laughs> risky because I smell. But we're just going to do it. I'll have the, uh, this out. Not that, not that. Uh, this. Uh, just in case. A uh, one flare. Any moose around here? No. But there is some birch which we'll grab and we'll check for, uh, we'll check for the bedroll too. I could actually grab some cattails while I'm at it too, because I don't have that much food. But there is a deer carcass over there. I think I will leave that for the moment, actually. Let's see. Uh, let's grab a few. Yeah, I, I don't really want to spend too long walking around the ice grabbing the cattails. Because I smell so much that the wolves are going to come from all over the place to find me. So I don't want to hang around the same area too long. We'll grab a few. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna go this way and okay, there's a deer, not the wolf. Good. I think the wolf would have come by now. If he does come, he can hunt this there for me, which is a tactic you can use. Yeah, you go in there. Be my shield. Be my shield. <laughs> Go in and be my shield. That's actually a challenge. I haven't done it yet, um, but I am going to do a version of it. Uh, to only eat food that you steal from predators, which me which means wolves. Oh. There is... Did it kill the deer? It did. I might actually, in that case, take it, because there's a lot of food. And another deer hide too. And I already smell, so who cares? And I'm not far from safety. So I might actually take this. And I'll continue explaining the uh, the thief challenge after. Yeah, let's make a fire here next to this. Hey, Wolfie. I'll take that, thanks. Go away. We'll make a fire here. So there's a challenge called Thief Challenge. It's not done very often. Kimyota has done it, of course, but he's done every challenge there is. And it's basically that you can only eat food that's stolen, which means that you use wolves uh, to hunt for you, bunnies and deer, and then you scare them away like I just did, and then you take the food. So that's... A trickery one, but perfectly possible. It's, it's it's basically a version of the pacifist challenge, although you can technically use um, you can technically use um, uh, uh, weapons in it. It's just you can't eat anything. Okay, let's also grab this. But I'm gonna do in a future video uh, a. A challenge that's basically the reverse of this challenge. The no crafting challenge where you can't craft anything. Uh, which also means that uh, you can't craft the bow. And then you, you might want to steal some kills. So that's a like, more elaborate version of it. So that's coming later. Okay, 48 minutes. Um, let's see. I think I'll harvest the meat first. 20 minutes, I think we'll do this in that case. But we're kind of close to losing our welfare. I do have cattails, but when a full deer dies like this, it's just too good to pass up, I think. Yeah, eat that. Very nice. 10 minutes. In that case, maybe like make something. Yeah, we can. Ah, we can use it for pancakes, I think. So we'll do that later. Potato. Hmm. No coffee. Let's make a coffee, actually. Six minutes. Let's do this. I hope an aurora doesn't hit because that would be bad. A nice clear night, though. There we are. Done. Let's also place this. Cook these two things. So that's 40 minutes, was it? Yeah, so let's take the hide in that case. We got a lot of hides, despite, uh, you know, not... Uh, having the bow yet. <laughs> this makes it a little bit easier in terms of... in terms of um, food. See, acorn pancake is what I was thinking. I was thinking of making those. We got a little bit of maple syrup left. Let's cook that first, though. Balance the rest of the meat. I don't know if we really need the guts. I might take them anyway because we already smell, so who cares? 27 minutes. 
for one. Uh, I think we can actually do that. It's only 10 minutes more than the cooking time, so why not? Okay, take that, take that. And then I think cook one of these, which is the longest down. And then we have that, and then we have this. Yeah, that's it. Then here, let's make some uh, acorn pancakes. So pancakes give 575, but acorn pancakes give more. Let's prep that. I think prepping is 15 minutes, is it? Like that. Nice. Very nice. I'm glad I didn't make the coffee. I think that's the main use of the acorns, really, because um, the, the coffee you get from the acorns is very weak. It's not the greatest coffee. Let's drink. Yeah, pancakes. Hurrah. Can I make more? I can make normal pancakes. Um, I don't want to make normal pancakes. I mean, they're alright, I guess. Peach pie. That's good. Yeah, that's... Might make a peach pie. Yeah, let's do it. Takes a while to cook, but that's okay. Did the wind blow it out or did my campfire just extinguish? I think the thing just extinguished. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, I hope this doesn't blow out. <laughs> so I think this is wasted if that happens. Okay. Uh, and now all we have left is this. 27 minutes, let's do that. Alright, so we got everything, pretty much. 22 minutes. Uh, I think it's too long for me to repair anything here. That takes 45, yeah. We could... Can we map? It's a clear sky. But I think we need Aurora for that, yeah. Yeah, I think we are done so with that. Oh, yeah, we can harvest this. Forgot about that. Let's harvest that. Perfect. Perfect. There we are. And, uh... Might eat some of these pies, even though... Take these. And these. There we are. 37 minutes. Okay, let's make half a Let's just, uh... Check down here, quickly. Uh, I might, I'll get food poisoning from the pies, but I might still check them. I uh, eat them, sorry. Because the, the health lofts are so small until we can sleep and all that. Rose sips, do we need rose sips? I don't think we do, but I might grab them anyway. Just to be able to make one. Yeah. And... Dog food. No bedroll though. That's a shame. Oh, well, there's Alan's cave. But Alan's cave doesn't really have anything. No, not really. I love the aesthetics of this. It's dark, but clear. And the fire, like the light of the fire just is so powerful. Look at this. Through the grass. The lighting uh, in this game is phenomenal. So good. I love the smoke also. I know I always rave about this game, but I mean, I am playing it, aren't I? So <laughs> okay, I think we can wait for this to be done. Uh, well, which is a smaller? 900? 900, 900? Any of these small ones? Um, okay, this is a small one, I guess. It's gonna eat that. And then I think we'll go. Then we got quite a bit of food, which is great. Okay, two seconds. Okay. Sorry about it. all these little mini interruptions, but it's the life of family man. 15 minutes. Uh, can we prepare anything? 
Yeah, we can repair these. That looks 15. All right, perfect. I'm gonna. This is less the 830. Yeah, take that. And then just have a drink, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to eat some of these pies, and it's gonna give me food poisoning, but eh, eat, eat it anyway. I didn't actually, oh, didn't give me food poisoning. That's interesting. It's a headache. Oh, I was about to pick up a torch there, but of course I can't. <laughs> okay, let's uh, have a bit of water. Now we're gonna go to the camp office. We're gonna like smell like, like high heaven. But that's okay. Yeah, we're fairly heavy, but not like extremely heavy. And I there's at least one wolf in my way. But I do have uh flares and I have campfires too. I usually peek in here, but here in Alan's cave, there's like nothing. I think I remember seeing loot in here on lower difficulties, like Pilgrim or whatever. Or maybe it's in Wintermute Story Mode, there might be loot in there. I'm not 100% sure. But on Intel, I never found anything in there ever. And it's not even a real cave. It doesn't give you the benefit of the cave. But, uh, that's right. What are you going to do? I'm going to use my big flare if I do encounter a wolf. Because I, um, if I encounter a wolf here, then I probably will encounter more wolves on the ice. And I might as well just use this flare to keep them away. But then after, I'm, I don't have any more flares. Uh, I mean, I have the marine flares, but they effectively are one-time torches, basically. Once I use it... Uh, it dies very quickly. It can be saplings here, but we don't really care about that. We got some bunnies, including one that sits there. Hi, little bunny. Sack's got a headache, so you're a bit blurry. Hello. How's it going? Bye. Uh, we, we don't need to hunt any bunnies or anything. We have enough rabbit pelts and all that stuff. We're going to make uh, Camp Office our main base, or main-ish base. Uh, very often I go for Trappers, but I think this time I'll go for Camp Office, at least for the moment. And we're going to leave everything there, all of our stuff, because after the Camp Office we are going to go to Fall on Maskeg and craft the arrowheads, as well as our tools. And then we'll come back here, I think. And uh, we need to hunt some bears. We need to hunt moose. Didn't see moose markings by the dam, so the moose in Mystery Lake is probably an unnamed pond. Maybe in Trappers. Oh, well, there's no moose at all. I mean, in my main interloper run, uh, going for 500 days, there is uh, no moose at all in Mystery Lake. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. So this is going to be a slow trek. We can't run either, but once we get to camp office, then uh, we can dump a lot of stuff. I think once we're there, I'm just going to drop everything in this curing, go into the bed and sleep until it's daylight, and then start organizing stuff, because I don't have much lantern fuel. Spooky. Can't feel my feet. This is honestly a little bit lucky. Cause there are no wolves. And I stink. Like three stink lines. Now there was one wolf, of course, which I scared away. Which was the one that was the wolf. Let's just call it the Alan's Cave Wolf. There's usually a wolf there near that hunter's blind. And I scared it off. And once I started the fire, I dropped all my stuff, so the wolf wasn't really a threat anymore. It wouldn't come back. But very often there's a wolf where those bunnies are, and there's also very often wolves on the ice. Like, they can be here, like two or three, but they can also be down on the other side, 
uh, where the closer to where the bear is, there can also be like about three wolves. And I am a bit lucky <laughs> that they are not blocking my way right now. That is a bit lucky. They should still come for me though, because I, I sh they should be able to smell me from that distance. Uh, but I should be able to outwalk them, so to speak. But this is a little bit lucky. I could also, there's a chance, a headache healed, nice. There is a chance of one wolf, I would say just one, coming at me at the camp office itself. Because there is uh, sometimes a wolf just up from um, the camp office by the tracks. There's a wolf roaming there. And sometimes he gets too close to a deer and hunts the deer and that sort of thing. And he could, because I smell so much, he could come down here. There's also three wolves that can roam on the other side of the tracks towards the derailment. And they could also come here. So if I just, if I don't see them and I just stand by on camp, I just stand there. Most likely they'll just come to me. You can hear them howling actually, you can hear them. I think those are the, um, the derailment wolves. I'm going to switch to my marine flare because now I'm really close to camp office. I don't really need to use the main flare anymore. Uh, if I run into a wolf now, I should be able to scare it off with just this. And if there's another wolf, I can scare that off too with the same flare. I'm going to grab these. We have food now because of the, the deer. That deer worked exactly as I hoped it would. That uh, I scared it away. We got into the wolf. And the wolf killed it, and then we got the prize. That's exactly what I hoped would happen. That achieved two things. I got an actual uh, kill out of it, but also uh, the wolf got away. Time against the hair, so let's try and kill one. Don't really need, need to kill it, but it would be nice to have one. They are over here, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be hard to see. They're so small. Oh, they're right here. I still need more. I don't need or need, but I could still use more um, down feather. If I find a bedroll, I can upgrade it with the uh, down feather. I could also make the bear bedroll, but I think I'm going to use the ptarmigan bedroll see here. Let's see. There we are. Okay. It's dark, but I can navigate in the dark. First, drop everything that is fresh, which is all of this stuff. That's it. Uh, also the time again, but that can wait. Then I can navigate in the dark with the windows. It's actually really easy to navigate the dark in here. Because you got these windows. And then to the left and to the right of this window, there's a bed. I'm going to sleep, but not too long. Uh, let's have a little drink. It will sleep like... It's almost daylight, but... Uh, we're going to sleep, I think, three hours. I think it's enough. Right, be right back. Okay. All right. We so survived 12 days. This is the longest I think I've ever gone without having the bow. I usually craft the bow within the first 10 days. Um, but it varies, of course, on the spawn and stuff. I think the, the shortest has been like day seven. Uh, but anyway, this is a bit different because we're crafting. But anyway, here we are in camp office. Let's start looting up here and then we'll organize it a bit. This can be our base for now. Someone stash. Yeah, someone stash. I says it. Um, can be a mag lens in here, but we already have a mag lens book. Yeah, sure. Bedroll. I didn't see a bedroll, unfortunately. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Book. Take that too. Um, that's this. Okay, so let's look around. That's curing. 
We got salt. Oh, here's the maglens. That was easy to miss because you see the salt and like, oh, okay. Got the salt and then, oh, wait, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more. We got a skillet. We got cooking oil. We got more cans. Just kind of tidying this at the moment. This is going to be our main base for now. I wonder who owns this stuff. Oh, uh, right now it's you that own it, Will. We got this. This is always there. The hook. And uh, then we have... Do I want to take the charcoal? I guess. In here we should find some flour. There's the flour. This could be really useful. It can, for sure. Check in here for random loot. Okay, take the pot. And uh, just put that there. And anything else in here? Yeah, potato. Oh, I would need another carrot also, that'd be good. Anything here? Potato. One potato, two potato. Okay, so I think that's everything. I think. Alright, so we can organize a few things now. Let's organize the inventory because we're really heavy. Uh, but before we organize the inventory... Oh, I should have left the meat outside actually, I forgot about that. But that's right, it barely degraded. Let's just eat this. We're gonna eat it anyway, so... Okay, first, let's just finish making the deer pants. So, here. We only need two and a half hours. It's nothing. We have another item. <laughs> nice! Look at that. Now we have deer skin pants. Do -do. Yeah, look at this bad boy walking around <laughs> topless in the winter and wearing only hides. Now he really needs a wolf coat and he looks like a complete badass. This we can't wear, of course, but we can harvest it. Oh, two seconds. Okay, sorry. Uh, so then we got that. Let's just harvest this right away so I'm not dragging this around. So sometimes there's a lot of these little mini breaks I play for two minutes and then, like, oh, sorry. And then, like, for you it's instant, but for me it's like half an hour because it could be things like the baby wakes up when he's not supposed to and this and that. That's uh, so how I was like. Okay, so let's organize a few things here. So, uh, first, so let's go through our inventory. Let's go through tools. So, we, we have all this stuff that we don't need. We put this upstairs. Uh, we don't need these cans. I like this collecting them. Let's put the cans here. I like having things out. Sometimes people ask, why don't you just put all of this in a drawer? Which of course you can do. I don't know, it looks kind of neat this way, I think. All right, and then uh, we have here this, uh, which we're not going to take with us at the moment. Let's put that over here or something. This we're not going to up there. Put that there. Uh, what else? Then we got the tools. Leave both those behind. The books we can leave upstairs. And uh, let's see. We can put a few drinks. We don't need this many teas. Some teas are good for the warmth for traveling. I don't know if we need this many. Uh, we can carry one raw sip tea, I think. Okay, and the tools. I'm going to put the tools here, since this is where we're likely to be using them. Uh, actually, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to uh, repair this. I didn't harvest any metal stuff in the end, but that's okay. Uh, repair one more time. I don't have that much scrap metal to take with, but that's okay. We have enough. Because there's, there's scrap metal to be found in Fallen Mask Egg, and there's also one metal thingy you can... Uh, uh, you can sort out that. So here I'm going to put all my feathers. Yeah. And we can also put this stuff. I could actually even probably make the bow now, but... Like that, maple. Let's just put these here, so they're neat neatly organized. 
Well, it's kind of far apart. Oops. If you are forced by the game to put stuff really far apart, you can place them like, like let's say the game forces you to place it like here. You can exit and come back in again, and then very often it will work. There's also a mod, which I don't use, but there is a mod called Place Anywhere, which allows you to place things pretty much anywhere. <laughs> okay, there's that. Now pelts. Uh, I'm gonna, even though this is all curing, I'm gonna pick all this stuff up. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in piles. Over here we have all our deer hides. One, two, three, four hides, which are curing. I'll put wolf hides here, which are just two. One, two. Put rabbit hides um, underneath here. There you have one, two, three, four. I'm not actually sure if you can wear two rabbit hats, but I think the answer is no. I'm pretty sure I tried that before, and you can't. So I think this is the best setup. We might make one though, just to see. Just to see. All right, and then we have guts, which I think we'll put just here in this corner here on this rug. There we are. And then the saplings, even though they're not cured, let's just put them here. Yeah, this is a bit more space efficient. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that organized. And then the downs. That is, I could put that in here too. Okay. And I could put some cloth in here too. I do need some cloth though for the knife and hatchet. Okay. Then we're going to go upstairs. Just to make things nice and neat. Just, yeah. Uh, there's the two hub stoves. So we'll put stuff here. Put these two here. Put the extra skillet we got here. Can I put it in here. That'd be funny. No, I can't. Okay. Be too silly, I guess. The books. I very rarely need the books while we're out. It does happen though, as you saw when we were. Getting that carcass and that. Uh, it does happen. Just put them here. I wish I could place them upright, but it's just one of those things you just can't. So Maybe in the future when I do base modification. And we can put the books here, I think. We're not going to use these. I'm not going to use these either. Why am I carrying that? Aren't I level 3? Yeah, so we don't need that. I can put it in here. There's like... A dumpster is in here. All right. Then other than that, we have storage. So let's just put stuff in here. So what can we put in here? Uh, we don't need two mag lenses. So put that in there. We can put some of our matches in here. Let's put like 24 to 48. Maybe enough. Let's put 60. 60 matches in here. It's half a kilo of stuff. Uh, I'm going to carry both stims with me, but we don't need two batches of these. And this is all good. And then here, I'm going to leave some cooking stuff. I think I'll leave them on the shelves, not here. Uh, and then here, we don't need all of these. So let's just put these here. Uh, and we don't need all these. Put those in there guess that is it of that stuff but then we have food thing oh yeah we don't need all these herbal teas either especially because i'm i already have two on me okay right then in this shelf here i'm going to put some of this like frontier cooking thingies i'm going to carry some of it with me though because it might be useful to make some pies suddenly let's take uh, let's leave these things behind uh let's leave I want to have enough to make like the odd thing so I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna keep the smallest of the flower and I guess 
that's it of that. So we'll put the flower here. Put the oil next to it, or rather, can I put it in there? Oh, you can't, you can't. Ah, oh, it's actually on it, isn't it? Saw a green thing there. Did you see it? Yeah! <laughs> we got it. Little things for little minds. And then we have peaches. For use for cooking. Put some potatoes here. Salt. Potato. We need another carrot. We should be able to find. Oh, that's very, very far away, but okay. Okay, so that's that. Then we need to harvest this, which we might as well just do now. Let's grab this with the hacksaw. I would drink almost anything about it. And then we will eat this. Drink that. I'll house the rest of these feathers. Which we, we already have double insulation, but we need the feathers for the bedroll once we find it. I haven't found it yet, so the bedroll is probably... Trappers, or... It could be an unnamed pond, maybe? Okay, we'll put those downstairs. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll take everything else with us. Uh, well, this we don't need, actually, to put that. Yeah, it doesn't really weigh anything, but... Uh, and the rest of this, yeah, we'll take all this stuff with us. For extra food. Guess that is everything. We got quite a lot of coal, but that's okay. We kind of want that. We're going to stay here until the next day, though. To recover some uh, energy and everything. Put these in here. There we are. So now we carry 36 and we, we, we have 40 capacity. So we shouldn't be heavy anymore. Uh, oh, the ptarmigan. Uh, I think we'll leave the ptarmigan meat outside and we can use it later for like broth or something. I'd rather do that. I don't want to carry it around with me. I don't really see the point of that. And I'm going to leave one of these here as well. Just so that... And this as well. Just so when I come back, I know I have this to get back to. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Uh, and then I guess that's it. Well, it's actually warm outside. This would be a good time to travel, but I'm not sure that's wise. Let's see. No. Even though I'm not actually heavy. That's really good. And it's, a, it's, it's actually warm outside. Is it? Could be an idea, actually, to... Go to like trappers or something. Or maybe up there even. Take advantage. How cold is it? Minus one. Hmm. I don't know. It's a bit risky without the bedroll, is the only thing. Uh I guess we could do it. It's a little bit of a detour. I guess we could go to the unnamed pond. Check for the moose. Yeah, let's do it, I think. Let's go. We'll take a short detour. Uh, we could check the tower up there. I don't think there's anything we need up there. I don't think the better will even spawns up there. I don't think so. But I don't think we need to go. But let's check here, because then we can check to see if the moose spawn is by the unnamed pond. And we can check the hunter's blind there too. And... We can also go to trappers. Let's see. Excuse me yet again. All right. I try to make those breaks as short as I can so they don't really disrupt immersion. I'm going to grab some acorns as well because I need two more to make a acorn grounds but they're kind of all over the place so I'll just grab some here uh, there we are uh, 
Um, that one, is there one more? Oh, okay, so I need one more then. There were some more back there, of course, but I couldn't be bothered. I don't think I want to check up there. It's a bit out of the way, I don't have much stamina. Uh, I might eat another one of those ruined peach pies. Yeah, because now I get uh, I get my energy back. Not a lot, but some. I can always run if I want to. But I don't need to run right now. I don't think the headache, it can't be cured, can it? No. Ooh. Uh, it's actually kind of close to frostbite risk there. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. Oh, God. Okay, I was just going to check something, but forget it. We need to actually... We might actually have to run, because... The frostbite risk is setting in. I smell a little bit because of the meat I'm carrying, but not too much. Here they can also be... Yeah, here's a wolf. And here's the acorn, uh, which we will... Quickly grab one. That wolf ran away because the other one is following me. Might have to go inside the um, cabin down here just for safety. Let's grab this one. Okay, there we are. How are we looking at that? 80%. Uh, I think it will still take a little while. So if one wolf is following you very often, the others will just give up. Let's see what we got here. We can also see if we have a bear spawn. Hey. Had an encounter with a ghost wolf here the other day. Ghost wolf, ghost bear, not wolf. In my Road to 500 Days series, <laughs> the bear was walking on air. I think the wolf gave up. Okay, so here I want to check something. So this cabin over here is one of the moose spawn locations. So you can get the moose here. From a distance though, I can't actually see any markings. I don't think the moose actually spawns here. So that would mean it's in Trapper's cabin or there isn't one. Or it's bugged. There have been reports of people saying that the moose has spawned in areas without moose markings, where there should be moose markings. Uh, so it's possible. I uh, don't really want to run because it is warm, so I have time on my hands now. As in, there's no rush at all because of the temperature, which is great. There's a deer carcass as well. Don't really need it right now though. Might as well check here while we're at it. But I do have this. <laughs> uh, this one is the arms. Uh, this one is negligent now. This one will not go up, but this one will. But I am warm though, because I'm warming up, it doesn't actually uh, increase while I'm warm. Uh, okay, we might as well check inside quickly. Let's see here, anything in here? Um, doesn't look like there's anything really. Just this. Okay. I guess that was it actually. Okay, I think we're gonna head to trappers now. I only smell a little bit because of those two pieces of meat I got on me. As you can see, I don't have a stink meter. Even if I click the status button, which is tab on the computer, which triggers the timer up there, you can see I don't have a stink line. But you do stink. Even if you have one piece of meat on you, you still smell. And two pieces of meat, it's also, you also smell three pieces of meat, then you get a stink line. There he is, yeah. Thought I heard something. That's the bear. We're gonna avoid the bear. I think we're gonna start running a little bit, actually. 
Because now it's getting cold, so now this timer will continue. Let's just check here quick. Is this anything? Bedroll or something? Ah, flare. I'll take that. Nice. We'll take the flare. And then I think we're just going to head straight to Trappers. Uh, if I find a deer carcass, I will maybe grab it because it's uh, really warm right now. There's a deer itself. There's also something that's a sapling to my right. Over there. I don't see it right now, though. I don't hear crows either. It's usually always right here. It's usually always a uh, corpse or carcass. Let's have a quick look if it's just for some reason not showing. But it looks like there is, isn't one today. Okay. Okay, we're going to head to Trappers. And uh, we'll spend the night there, I think. And then we'll head into Fallen Muskig. And start crafting there. That's a frostbite risk. It's actually not going up. I think because it's, it's not cold enough. Yeah, well, it's going to go up soon. Okay. And also, let's just see if there is a moose spawn. Is there a moose here? Not right now, at least. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, it might be here later, but it doesn't for now. If I want a moose, I'm gonna have to kill one and follow a musket, probably. Find a place to rest. Saplings? No, then they're probably by the pond in that case. We got rabbits, which we don't need right now. And sometimes there's a backpack here. Yeah, we might as well do this, actually. Oh, getting dark. And then here we are. Good old trappers. My favorite base. Right. Excuse me once again. Okay. Right. No. Something was wrong with my sound that I couldn't hear for some reason. Everything right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Sorry about that. Okay. Don't have much fuel, but I need the light. Let's check around real quick. Whetstone. And we got peaches. Oh, sardines. Two of them. Check that later. Uh, sewing kit. Take that as well for tinder. Survival book. Can. The notes. Backpack. Nothing. Okay, a lot of misc stuff. Let's douse this while we open this. That looks like 49 or something. Okay, 50. 15 or 46 or something. <laughs> Forty-six, yeah. Okay, that was an easy one, kind of. What have we Scarf, here? which I can't use. Can the money? Okay, we're in the dark, but I think we're gonna sleep here because it's quite late. Do I have anything that needs curing on me? I don't think so. We can prepare these acorns, I guess. Uh, let's just do that. Uh. Where? Oh yeah, acorns. Let's just do that. You can use them for different things. There we go, and also the large one. 
And then we need to eat. And we will eat. See, we got pancakes now that we can eat. The condition goes on fast, but uh, yeah, I think I'll eat the pancakes. A lot of calories. And we got water. Let's eat one of these as well. 78%, so this should not give us food poisoning. Like, no chance at all. Have a drink, and let's sleep. 10 hours. Let's go. Okay, Frostbite is healed. That's good. Let's uh, eat something. I go have some water. Yeah. Oh, I did, wait a minute. I did this. I repaired the hacksaw already, and I made the leggings too. And yeah, we still haven't found the bedroll. That's a bit annoying. Um, let's see, what's the weather like outside? All right, cold. How much cold? A lot of cold. Okay, I was going to take... The bear is out. Okay, so this is one of the bear spawns right there. So the bear is over there. Uh, I might sleep another hour just to get some more daylight and also get fully rested. But I think we can only sleep one hour. We'll put two. Cabin Furious, that's fine. We could actually go via Milton, but there isn't really anything we need from Milton per se. Oh, very cold, very cold. Uh, not really, why am I carrying this scarf? I will house it later. Why would we go to Milton? Is there a bedroll spawn that I can think of? Mm, not that I know of. I still haven't found the bedroll, which is a bit annoying. It might be up in the tower. Here in Milt, here in Mr. Lake, maybe. I think we'll take... Probably this route, I think. Gosh, it is cold, though. Maybe we could go via Milton, and we could... Ah, it's such a big detour to the forge. I, I think I want to go straight. We are going to take cold damage doing this, for sure. But it's okay. It's a long journey. It's uh, early in the day. But I want to get moving. There's no point just sitting around. Once we've forged, we should be a lot stronger. I do need some more metal, though, so that would be one excuse to go via Milton, but you don't really need it. I could pick up this sapling, but then I'm just carrying it with me to fall on Muskeg, and it's not really being cured while I do stuff, and it's just one sapling, and I don't really need it. So cold. So now we have a bear spawn in Trappers, which would make Trappers a better base than Camp Office, because then at least you have the bear right there. But it depends. If the other bear spawn, because there will be two here in Mystery Lake, if the other one is in... Um, uh, if the other one is in, on the lake, then that's fine. I'll make a fire to warm up, but I'm not going to do it until we get to the poacher's camp. We'll go there. And so far, no moose markings. So if I want to hunt the moose, best bet is here and fall on muskeg, I guess. Probably eat one of my rosy pies. Uh, it, early mornings like this is pretty much the worst time to actually go outside. Because the mornings are really cold. 
And, they, and uh, even in the early game, it's quite cold. It's the coldest part of the day, so uh, it makes sense if you think about it. So throughout the day, the sun heats up the world, so it gets warmer and warmer. And then in the late afternoon is when the sun has warmed the world at the most, you know, so that's why it's hottest. Uh, but then the sun starts going down, and once it's uh, gone, the world starts cooling, and you get colder and colder in the late evening and through the night. And when and when the sun rises, we're just going to check over here and see if the moose is in. When the sun rises, uh, it's been cooling. It's like taking something out of a fridge. Like, it's, it's morning and the sun is up, but you just took something out of the fridge. So it's as cold as it can be. Um... And therefore, uh, it's just really cold, <laughs> and it's not going to uh, be warm even though the sun is out. It takes a while to heat up. No moose here. Okay. Uh, food. We got quite a lot of food. I'll grab some cattails though, but I think we are good food-wise, really. Um, so morning is is very cold. So if you are if you want to like maximize when to go out, it's sometimes not a bad idea, especially on interloper, uh, to sleep until around noon or so. It's around noon that the temperatures start to change noticeably towards um, that's the bear uh, towards being warm, and kind of like from twelve to early evening, so that that quarter of the day is when it's warmest in the world. And if the weather is alright, like if it's like this, when it's kind of still, uh, it might not be sunny, it's just still, then often you are not cold going out, even on interloper, especially early game like this. Or you are it's barely cold, so you can travel pretty far. But of course, you could be unlucky and you can say to yourself, well, let's wait, let's just... Uh, Wait around until it's afternoon when it's warmer, and then a storm hits or a blizzard hits, and like, oh, okay, well now I gotta wait until the next day. So there are risks involved in doing that. Since I am full health and I kind of want to get to forging, I'm happy to go out while it's cold in the morning, and we'll just light a fire over here in Poacher's camp, and we'll warm up. But you can see it's minus twelve, which is cold. But because it's still like this, there's, there's no wind at all, really. Uh, it's barely cold. There's a bear up there. Okay, I want to check here quick. See what we got. It's usually some scrap metal on a backpack and some coal around here. There we go, scrap metal. I wonder who owns this stuff. I own it right now. And go through here. And we'll make a fire here in the poacher's camp. More coal. Usually a bit more scrap metal in here. Oh, and yeah, the, this flare is guaranteed. It's always there. Now we have three flares. So now we got some protection going. How is this? Yeah, that's uh, the cache. Yeah. Right, uh, let's start a fire. Accelerant, no, you won't be needing that. Are there any books? Yeah, but um, I might read those. <laughs> let's go. We'll warm up here a little bit. And then we'll see. Come on, come on. Come on, little fire. Come on. There we are. Oh, that was on and that. Uh, how is my water situation? Not great. So let's uh, put on a liter at least. And super. Yeah. Let's prepare the acorns. Do I have a, ca have a can opener on there? Yeah. So we can eat up, say, this soup. Each is I want to use for uh, making pies. Other than that, we're good, I think. Frost by risk, 32%. These should all go down now. Uh, we now only get two frostbite risks, you 
probably noticed because we don't get a leg one anymore. We just get arms and chest. So, uh, well, this we have to harvest. How long is that? Like 40 minutes. Or this. 10 minutes. How is that then? Okay, those are processed. I can make this two. How long to make the grounds? 15 minutes, she'll do it. You can make some more pancakes. Let's actually place our skillet and let's make some pancakes, shall we? I think I have the stuff for it, don't I? Oh, no, I don't have maple syrup. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, we need maple syrup for that. I can make peach pie though. Yeah, which I might do. Yeah, let's make some peach pie. Oh, they give... No, it gives us more calories, yeah, because... It's 500 calories, is it, for a peach? 450, okay. And we get three pies, so it's like... A bit more, okay. Do this. Uh, let's make another liter, and let's just actually make some... Oh, we could make a bannock, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I haven't really made bannocks. Yeah, because those... Um... Yeah. Oh, uh, birch bar, yes, prepare that. They give some calories. It's a bit deceptive because when you click on it, it says, oh, 200 calories or whatever, but that's per bannock and you make two, I guess. <laughs> it's like the pies, you make three. But then pancakes is one, even though the three pancakes in there. Okay, now we definitely have to wait. Oh, damn. Oh, God, I completely forgot about it. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. This I can use to level up cooking if I want. We could just do this. Let it be cooked. And not forget about it, of course. And then we just pick it up. Yeah. Bannock. Two bannocks. Very nice. Now we pick this up. Now we level cooking there too. And we can make regular bannocks as well. But I don't know if we want to do, do that. No, we're going to make peach pies. Uh, we can make another liter. Let's put some more wood on here. I don't think there's anything else. I can harvest this actually now. It takes a little while to make this stuff. This blizzard is annoying, but I will go out there if I have to. Right, perfect timing. All right. And... And that. Can I make more peach pies? I think I can, right? No. No. But we can make birch bark tea. Make another liter. And I think we're probably going to go after that. Make half a liter. And let's just put all of this stuff here to heat up. And then I think we are going to make a move. Oh, these are too far away. I could use a drink. Yeah, they're too far away. Let me reset all of them so they don't burn by just right clicking them like this. Complete exploit, I guess. And then we wait. Wait some more. And the blizzard ended. Nice. 
And let's just have... Uh, I'm gonna eat one of these. Can I eat another one? Let's do it. Yeah, very nice. I'll have a bit of this. But not all of it. And there we go. Now I think we're ready to go. <laughs> very nice. Uh, hold on though. Let's see. What's the weather like? Got the wind against me, but there's not much to do about it. So I think... Let's just go. Alright. Uh... I'm going to have to, actually, unusually. I'm going to have to just pass time for one hour because I need to save the game because the baby's waking up. There we are. Okay. Give me two seconds. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's just have a quick look around here. Oh, it's actually not that cold, despite fog and wind. Alright, let's keep going. We'll grab some of these, and we'll go. They're all hot. It says straight to the forge. <clears throat> so tempting to pick up a torch, but you know. I'm carrying one thing that smells. Oh wow, the bear is out. He's kind of in my way as well. Uh, might be able to distract him. But even if I don't, I can probably outwalk him. Ah, uh, he's too close. Yeah, okay. He's gonna see me. I'm too far away. But barely cold at all, actually, yeah. We got some food, but I'm gonna grab some anyway, at least. A little close, but... You turn around, I think that was a bug. It's quite easy to find a farm. And now we got good visibility so you can see it. So right now, there's the, t the tower for the single void is up there. That's what that is. You got Bleak Inlet Cave over there. Which is an indoor location. And the farm is just over there. You can actually see it where my thumb is. It's right there. <clears throat> but if you have a reduced visibility, you're just going to find, ideally, you're going to find this. That those two rocks on top of each other. It's not too hard from there. Or you can just hug the left wall instead of going through. Uh, Fallen Mask is very intimidating if you're a new player. Because then it's kind of open and easy to get lost, a lot of ice. So what you can do is you can just hug the left wall and go all the way around. Eventually you just get to the forge, pretty much. If you get to the broken radio tower, which is over there, that's because there's three radio towers, this, the third one's broken over there. If you get to that one, you know you've gone too far. And just go back a little bit and you'll be at the forge. <laughs> the only problem is that the majority of the wolves are on the edges of this map. It's kind of like the edges of the maps are filled with wolves. And then the center of the map is filled with ice. It's barely cold at all, uh, despite the wind. So, I'm just going to drink one thing. I'll drink... What should I drink, actually? Uh, we got so many. Let's drink rose sip tea. Why am I carrying so many painkillers? <laughs> I find them just now. I can't remember. Okay, we got one wolf over there. I might eat this food if I can. Yeah, good. Now I don't have anything to drop, so I don't smell at all. So now the walls will be less of an issue. That is to say, even less of an issue. How's my frost by wrist, though? Now ah, we're good. Okay. 
got good condition, we got food, we got water. So yeah, we're fine to forge. In between these two stones, there's also usually um, a little bit of loot. Not a lot though. Is that wolf bugging out? I think he is bugging out. Yep, we got ourselves a ghost wolf. Walking on air. I think he's kind of stuck. Yeah, I think he's stuck up in the in the sky. Doesn't take any chances there. Yeah, he's he's stuck. Hello. Are you having a nice time? You having a good time up there, walking in uh, in the air. That looks like fun. <laughs> How weird. Oh, he's definitely stuck up there. So, pick your poison. You can fly, but you're stuck in a certain location. <laughs> Alright, see you, Wolfie. I'm gonna take this for the forge. Alright. I've seen that once before, and then uh, once I uh, interacted with the wolf. It um, uh, it came down. Oh god! Okay. So this is like your area, is it? Okay. For science, tell you what. Okay, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> He's just stuck up there. Poor Wolfie. Poor Wolfie. Oh. You're on your own, Wolfie. Sorry. Let's go forging. I'll leave you to your fate. And just like that. He's gone. And he's back. <laughs> Wait. Is is he walking normally now? No, he's not walking normally at all. <laughs> oh, he vanished. Do you see how he vanished? He just disappeared into thin air. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Oh, actually warm me up here. One degree. That's the power of the early game. Because we're still on day 15, okay. Let's get these. Give me the scrap metal. Give me the wood. Take the wires too. Oh, I almost missed this. Might take advantage and map this. Yeah. Mental cache is over there where the bear is. The bear is out. Why well, it shouldn't be an issue. Grab these for extra food. How much tinder do we have? That, that, okay, we got a few, we can grab a couple more. And then let's go forge. And earlier there in the poachers camp, you know, I had to pass time to save the game, so that's something I normally wouldn't do. But uh, this video has had quite a lot of, like, sudden interruptions for, um, like, um, the baby waking up and that sort of thing. I think some something I called these days. Sometimes I have uh, several hours in a row, which is uh, to record something. And other times, uh, like the baby wakes up five minutes later, and so on. So, I might have to drop some gear. Hey, a new storm lantern. Nice. Well, that's this house like. Uh, we can harvest this, I suppose. Jeans. Now, I 
got one ring. I don't think I wrote down how many hides I had in um in uh thingy place. Camp office. I might harvest this actually. Oh, I shouldn't have left this many nights. Oh, that's fine. Just because um, it's nice to have the um, the hides. Even though I probably have enough for the second pair of pants. I have a couple for repairs also. Saves me having to hunt there later. And I can actually take the hides up to the bunker that's around the corner. How is this? I don't know if we need the guts to be honest. Okay, and then we do this. And then while that's cooking, we'll do the same thing over here to this deer carcass. But very often I will leave these deer carcasses around uh, as um, as uh, feather farms for me to pick up later. But uh, this time I'm not doing that. Oh, we have a wolf here. See if I can get rid of this wolf. I'm crouch spamming basically. I'm not worried about the wolf once I have the campfire down. Two wolves. Go. I use those matches. Come on. Come on. If um if you want to make this chance a bit harder, you can just say that flares are banned as well. Turned out pretty well. But campfires, if you ban campfires, it becomes a little bit too difficult because you need campfires to actually do stuff. And if you allow campfires, you might as well be allowed to scare off wolves like this, right? Sound almost like there were two there. So how is this? Yeah, that was the second wolf, I think. They ran past there. That was a little bit scary there. Let's put this one, do the same thing. Place that, make half a liter. And yeah, that's fine. This can just burn out, really. Let's go back here. The bear is getting closer. Let's see if this is forward, because then I can grab with my hands. That's kind of like the issue. Where oh, the wolf got? There he is, yeah. Come, Wolfie. Eight minutes. Let's boil dry. This is the 54 minutes, and then we wait, and now it's 36 minutes. <laughs> uh, let's just pass time until that's ready. Grab that. And we'll just put another half a leaf of the Put on a couple sticks. How long does this take? Ah, uh, that's gonna burn, probably, so. And we'll grab the hide. We'll leave the guts, I think. I think we have enough guts. At least for this day, we'll leave the guts. Take that, take this, leave that. It's so annoying that we can't take a torch. So normally here, like, let's say I started that fire in Poacher's camp, right? I would use one match for that. 
Then I would take a bunch of torches, assuming the wind is good enough, which it was this time. Just carry a bunch of torches, chain them over here, and then make a fire for that I there. Use a drink. Then take a torch, make a fire this there. Take a torch, make a f f light the forge. So you use like one, one match kind of for all of this stuff. But now we instead of using four because of the conditions. Isn't there like another raw one? Yeah, this one. 12 and 13. Okay, so they had kind of the same. Do I have anything I can make while that's happening? Uh, no, but we can um, harvest this and harvest the clothing. There we go. Take those. We can actually eat those, the smaller. Get rid of them. That's it. And then we're going to harvest this. 36 minutes. Might as well make more water. I hate that you can't select the um, pan. I don't think you can even put it in the radio, can you? No. Uh, I wish I could do that. Instead of clicking place, just like select it. Put on a few more sticks. There we are. That's good enough. Uh, let's put one more stick in case a wolf shows up. I was to hide. Getting dark, we don't have a knife, so it's going to take too long to get the guts. The guts are like 24 minutes, yeah. Maybe later. There were four carcass housing. Look at that. That's pretty good. Uh, I am tempted, actually. 24 minutes is not the worst. I, yeah, I might get these to put it in the bunker. In which case, put on uh, we'll one piece of coal, it's fine. We can just use this. Put half a liter, half a liter, and then grab these two. Did it blow out? Yeah, it did. It's boiled though. That's not boiled. Okay, let me take this, and now we might need this. Because it's stormy, but it's not a blizzard, so the wolves are still out. And even if it was a blizzard, the wolves could still be around. Because they were nearby when the blizzard hit. We're going to go to the forge, but before we go there, I'm just going to take a little detour up here. A bit hard to see, but we're going to go up here, because there's a bunker here. So I can leave stuff to cure there while we do forging. Because we're going to forge for at least like a whole day. Between forging and sleeping and all that stuff. So that stuff can cure. Let's run a bit. Very hard to see, but it should be up here. I think it's up this slope. The wolf after me still? No. But I'm not going to switch to the lantern yet in case the wolf shows up right here. They can patrol her, especially if you are cold. Sorry, if you're cold, if you smell <laughs> cold. Goddamn freezing. Should be right up here, I think. There it is, yeah. There's the bunker. Let's just check it. We can also see if the recipe happens to be in this one. We'll use the low one. Yeah. And in here we got nothing as usual. Only one of them will have something in it. And when I say something, I mean very little stuff. Drop these two. And drop these two. And let's put a quick note. Uh, like, uh, what's this called? Uh, FM bunker. Next to the hide. Next to guts. There we are. 
then we can just carry this for the moment because now we don't smell anymore except we have this. Let's start eating one of these. There we are. Let's have a drink also. We might as well just keep using this. We can also just save the game. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check this. Nothing there. Let's go. Let's go forging. Uh, this way. Let's light this just so you can see better. It's a little bit risky to go this way. When... I smell. Oh, rather well, I'm carrying... Well, not really one thing, but... A wolf could come here and just destroy this. But I think it should be okay. So now we're going to do some forging, and we need to make arrowheads, and we need to make the tools. And then we can start making the bow. This is a bit dumb, really, to carry this lantern around, because... Uh, if a wolf does show up, I don't really have time to react. That's alright. Gonna take a little shortcut, so to speak. Wow, really bad weather. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. Any wolves? I don't see any wolves. If I can... I'm gonna very quickly check out this destroyed house for us right here. Oh, there's Wolf. But sometimes there is, um... Uh, scrap metal here. I don't see any though, no. Here we can access the safe, but we will do that later because of the Wolf. But the safe is right here. Take this though. So in kit. Coal, coal. This wolf is probably going to glitch through the wall. Where is he? Kind of, there he is. Yeah, right there. Okay. He can't get to me in here, so I'm safe. He's probably going to glitch through the wall. That happens sometimes. There he is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There we are. Yeah. Not spooky at all. There we go. Go away. Okay, and then we'll loot this. Ah, scrap metal, nice. And oh, jerry can, nice. Lamp fuel. And inside, I think it's this box. There's uh, accelerants. Oh, which you don't really need. And then we'll take we'll destroy this metal shelf, but not right now. And behind here, there's dog food. It's starting to weigh me down. And then I think we can light the fire. Let's start the furnace. There you go. And I was going to put on some uh, fuel so it can burn for a while, and some coal to make it warm enough. We need 150 degrees to actually forge. We're going to be here a while, so um, we need quite a little bit of wood in there. Well, Let's put in thank goodness for that. That and these two and then some coal until it's 12 hours like that. There we are. And then if you want some more wood which we don't really do we break down this for example while it heats up. And 176. Okay so now I can forge 
And there's a trick to making water at the same time, but we're not gonna do that now because we need to make these and they take too long. So let's make hatchet first. Four hours. Go. Crossbow risk is healed. There we go, we got the hatchet. Now let's make the knife. I'm thirsty. There we go. Let's have a let's eat this. And have a drink. There we go. So uh now we have the hatchet and the knife. Really, really nice. This one here, I'm going oops, I'm going to displace it. We don't need to carry it with us. Okay. Then, what you can do, you can put the cooking pot, if you have one. It has to be a cooking pot, the skillet, and the other one's too small. Well, and actually, you can do it with a skillet as well, actually. Because what you can do is, you can put on two liters, and even if you cook level five, this should work. It takes roughly two hours, a bit less than that, to make two liters. Then you go on the forge here. Instead of crafting two hours, you do four. It takes two hours. So when, and when you finish making the hours, the water spoiled, and you can just grab it. Like this. If you have a skillet, you can do um, you can do one liter instead, and then make w w two arrowheads. Now I'm out of scrap, but uh, we can harvest this um, this thing here. It's an hour and a half. I have slightly less scrap than usual because I haven't broken anything down. Plus, I used some to repair the um, the hacksaw. Okay, repeat, we're gonna make some more arrowheads. We can get about 12 arrowheads and that's fine. There we go. Uh, food wise, yeah, we can eat the Banex, I mean, why not? Let's also eat actually this. I would do anything for a drink right now. Let's also eat the sardines. And let's have a drink as well. There we go. Done. And then we can do it one more time. The last of the arrowheads. So we get 12 arrowheads. That's fine. When you make arrows for the first time, you should make, I would say, at least eight. At least eight arrows. You can get by with less, but you should ideally have at least eight. While this uh, boils, let's sort some stuff out. We don't need the hammer anymore for now, so we're gonna leave this here on the forge. We'll make a note. Uh, we'll just put here actually, hammers, FM forge. And we'll leave some coal here as well. Uh, like, I don't know, 10 or 11 coal, sure. Plus 11 coal, there we are. And then we'll put some stuff in here that we don't really need to carry. So we don't need to carry, or we don't really need the books, but uh, well, let's leave also this fur here, like this. And like, I don't know, like two sticks and one tinder. There we are, just in case. All right. And then we go here and let's just see, we don't need any of this stuff. So put that in there. Put one of these in here, why not? And why why not put put these in here? Uh we don't need these. I guess we can take them with though. I guess. I guess we can take the stuff with us. Yeah, I think we can take this stuff with us. It doesn't weigh that much. Okay, then we can take this water. We can do mapping. There we go. And then we'll open the safe. We'll make sure there's no wolves around here. The safe is here. Oops. You can access it through this. Safe is going to break down the box. So let's see what... Okay, it looks like 12 or something. 11. Wait. Right. Can you hear that? Oh. 
Oh. That was close. That was way too close. Did I smell? No. I can't run because I'm tired either. Oof. That was scary. Okay, tell you what, how long has this got? An hour 44, okay. Put on... So it's gonna break this down. Because these wolves. There we go. If I had a torch, that would be easy. Oh, it actually left where it was, wow. 11, what else? 11 and 10, holy. Twelve. <laughs> that would have been something. Here comes a wolf again. Okay. What we got? Hope Maple jeans. We don't need the jeans. That was so close. So I didn't. I wasn't able to run because I was tired, which I momentarily forgot about. And. Um, <laughs> Gosh, um, yeah, but I had, and I should have, if I had reacted a bit fast, I would have taken up the flare, but I had my stone, my one trusted stone, and if you hit this, a wolf on the head like that, then uh, they uh, they go away. I think I might stay here for the moment, an hour. Let's just put a little bit on there, like two hours. Let's sleep for like two hours. And there was that music also, which is actually my follow music on Twitch. I'm not sure why that played, because I've disabled all that stuff. That shouldn't have played, but it did. So, uh, sorry about that. But, uh, well. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I should sleep here, because I got some wood. And at least I don't get cabin fever that, that way. So, maybe I should do that. I'm kind of tempted, because I'm going to do crafting after, so I will get cabin fever then. Yeah, you know, I think we'll do that, actually. Let's put this on, and that, um, to make this burn as long as we can. Uh, let's break down some stuff. So that it burns longer. There we are. Uh, we could read for one hour, actually. But I was a bit lucky with the um, with the wolf there. Well, kind of lucky. I mean, I deliberately wanted to scare him with the uh, stone, but there was uh, I only had the one stone. So, but if you get charged by a wolf like that and you have no other hope, try to throw a stone and hit his head. If you do that, the wolf will typically flee like that. So I was able to avoid it there. I'm carrying way too much water, so let's just do this. Yeah, we can take that. Let's actually read. I think we can read for one hour. Uh, let's do kitchen. And then I oh, can read for maybe two hours. We can try. I don't think we can manage. Maybe we can just barely. Can we try? Yeah, we can manage two hours. Okay, nice. Okay, now we want to sleep, and I kind of want more wood. I, mean, I don't have to do this, I can go up to the bunker up there. Let's get the accelerant. And the bunker will have um, a bed, but I just know I'm going to be indoors a lot, so we might as well stay. Oh, okay, the accelerant is in this crate, the small one. I always forget which one it is. There we are, two accelerants. Okay, let's see if I can put it for 10 hours. It is outdoors, so it doesn't have to be exactly 10 hours, but I'll still do this. Have a drink, and I sleep 10 hours. There we go. Nice. How long has this got now? Yeah, so we got three hours. It's early and it's morning. 
So I think we will, in that case, let's eat some more stuff. Eat, uh, just eat these. Try and fill up the belly with these. And we'll go and get our, um, our hides and we'll get out of here. Head to trappers, not trappers, uh, camp office. Craft bowl, craft arrows. Then we need to kill two wolves. We need to kill a bear, or rather two bears, really. And a moose. At least that. We really should find a bedroll also and upgrade it. Mmm. Cow tails. Okay, that's good enough. Have a drink. And we'll sleep another two hours. We're fully rested, we're not heavy either. I need to find my stone. <laughs> there we are. Now it's not as cold, I guess. The bear is out there. Okay, this has got an hour, two hours left, but we don't need, need anything. We got what we want. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to leave a couple cloth in here. Because if I come back here and I want to make a replacement knife or something, it's very easy to forget that you're carrying, like, that you need cloth. It happens all the time. Okay. We are good, I think. Let's go, then. Oh, it's so tempting to pick up a torch and go, but we can't. There's my stone, my trusty stone. It saved me from a wolf attack. Let's head up to the bunker here. It's cold. Nah, 18 is kind of cold, but I guess it's acceptable. All right, so that was forging. All the musky is definitely the best for interloper because pretty much all the spawns lead here because uh, you you always spawn somewhere that takes you here you could however go to the Riken or broken railroad but going to broken railroad before you have the bow is like i guess you could do it but so many walls and it's you're basically going through fallen musky to do it forsaken airfield same thing the only other viable option really is uh desolation point but one of the main issues with that is that it's it's further to travel and also you have to go through some uh, kind of like tight corners like winding river with its wolves and that sort of stuff and it's not really worth it but you could the benefit of going there is that that forge is indoors so it's a little bit easier in that sense okay let's check this out all right how cured are they yeah 33 percent. so we'll take this with this will mean that we smell now <laughs> but oh well we'll just take it with us we do smell a little bit but it might be okay i might take the route across the ice just to see What's at the Hunter's Blind? Too worried about the cold, because I don't have Frostbite Risk. Don't need that Birch Sapling right now. And now I left my hammer behind, so I light it. Let's just check here also. You can just find a couple misglued things here, like... Yeah, wood. Uh, you can find scrap metal. You can find Storm Lantern. You can find tools. Uh, don't see any of it today. I'm gonna grab a couple more stones. Uh, no, I'm not gonna look that close though, but... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go this way because there's the Hunter's Blind, which uh, can have matches in it. I think we'll go check that out. We're not heavy and it is cold. I think we're going to run a little bit. I am going to grab these because we don't have that much food on us. 
Now, because I left the hammer behind, we can't uh, make acorn grounds. So we can't make acorn pancakes, for example. If we want some more calories and whatnot. But it's not really worth carrying the hammer around just for that. It's the, the hammer only really serves... The, the main purpose of the hammer is to forge. You have to have it to forge. But there are other purposes for the hammer. So the, the other reasons you might want to carry a hammer on your person other than for for oh God, for, other than for forging uh, is uh, for one thing you can break down crates but you can also use hatchet or hands for that. You can also break the ice for fishing and you can also use it to uh, make acorns. Like, so you break the acorn, the boiled ones, into grounds. And you can make coffee or pancakes with that. So that's there are reasons to use it. But the, the acorns is the only unique thing with the hammer outside of forging. The other things, like breaking the ice, you can do that with a pry bar, for example. Or a hatchet, or whatever you want. And the uh, crates, you can do that with your hands if you want to. There isn't really that much need for a hammer for these things. But for the acorn grounds, you have to have it. But is it worth carrying around a two kilo hammer just so you can make acorn grounds? Not really. In the beginning of the game, sure, because you're looking for the hammer anyway. And once you find it, you can then uh, use it for that purpose as you travel to the forge. Sure. But after that, not so important, uh, generally speaking. So it's better to leave the hammers around strategically. Uh, there's also one fourth thing which some people use it for, which is wolf struggles. There is a myth going around that the hammer is the best weapon against wolves, which isn't really true. I'll tell you about it. Let me just check here first. Scrap metal. Oh, book. And uh, here you can find matches sometimes. Not today, though. We do have the Polaroid, though. The northern one. We'll go there later. Am I actually that heavy? Really? Not not super heavy though, I guess, but still. Uh, can I eat something to lighten the load? Yeah, we can eat this. Go for it. Go, 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 go. And then let's uh, have a drink. Oh, almost light enough. Let's see here. Okay. Two seconds. Okay. Uh... Sorry, I have to actually save the game because I have to go. Let's see. Uh, I need to go to a save point. So that's over here. A little bit of a detour. That's the issue. Like this is this run is a little bit unusual because um, uh, I have had an unusual amount of, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, interruptions. Where say, you know, the the baby doesn't sleep well enough and he wakes up before he's supposed to and. The problem is that, uh, you know, you, you have to save the game. You can't just pause and then let the computer stay on forever. So you have to actually save it. Fortunately, there is one here. So I'm just going to take a short detour over here. But it's, this is fine because uh, if we go over here, uh, there is a cave that leads to Bleak Inlet. And we can always just stay warm there for a little bit and then continue. That will reduce our frostbite risk and also our... Um, um, uh, I hypothermia, so it might as well be a good place to take a little break. So let's go in here. But yeah. Um... Oh yeah, the hammer. Let me briefly explain the hammer. So the hammer... Oh, here comes the wolf. Okay, well this is... Make sure. Uh, a lot of people think that the hammer is the best weapon against wolves in a struggle. Uh, that the, the hatchet is what kills the wolf because it bleeds. It makes the wolf bleed. But the hammer is the best against the wolf. But the, as far as I know, from all the tests that I've seen, uh, that's not true. It's not that the hammer is bad. It's uh, very good against wolves. But the hatchet does the most damage. It's the best against wolf. So it's better to use that. Uh, but the hammer is, is fine. But it doesn't kill the wolves. And it doesn't do more damage than the hatchet. So I always use the hatchet. So it's not worth carrying the hammer for that, in my opinion. Okay, be right back. Okay. 
All right, so I wasn't actually intending on going here, but seeing as we are here, we might as well take the opportunity to warm up a little bit. Get rid of some frostbite risk as well. Uh, normally I wouldn't go here and I would just keep playing until I reach the save point, but when you have a, a baby that suddenly wakes up, you got to take a couple extra long cuts. But at least we can see if Larry's home. Is Larry home? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a shame. This is Larry's... Uh, Larry's cave, so he uh, can be here. This Larry's the only indoor rabbit in the game, and I never kill him. It's bad luck to kill Larry. I don't believe in bad luck as such. This is a thing. I just never kill him. I'm gonna go seeing as I'm here anyway. I'm gonna go up here and check a couple things, and then head back out while I warm up. There's some coal, so I can grab that. We're not gonna check the whole cave and go to Bleak Inlet or anything. We don't really need to do that. But I'm going to grab a little bit of coal while we're at it. And warm up a little bit. We could start a fire, but I'm not sure if we need to. But over here there's a bed, and there's often a flare here, a marine flare. So I'm going to pick that up. That one more wolf deterrent. No flare today. Uh, how much coal? Eight coal. I don't know if we need more coal, to be honest. So let's just uh, head back to the entrance. And how is our, our risk? is quite low. The frostbite risk. To carry. Oh, barely heavy. So I don't know if we really need to start a fire. We can instead just do a little bit of organizing. We can read for an hour, for example, to warm up or something like that. And then we can go from there. Nice. Yeah, I think we'll do that. If my frostbite risk was quite high, I think I would have started a fire here, but I don't really need to. It's a good time of day and everything, so I think we're fine. But let's stop here by the entrance. And then we will uh, have a look at these books. Was there any that I did read already? Presumably one of these. Yes, two hours. Let's read one of these. One hour, maybe two hours. Uh, yeah, let's read two hours. Doesn't matter if it's late in the day. Makes no difference. It'll be warmer anyway. There we are. One hour left, which we'll do later. And, uh, let's lighten the load a little bit. So let's eat something. Uh, the bannock's very light. These increase that. Uh, yeah, we could eat one of these. Why not? Do that. There we go, and let's have a drink too. And we might be light after this. Uh, almost. Let's drop um let's drop something. Uh let's drop this. And that. There we are. No longer heavy. <laughs> Don't have the Polaroid, do I? No. But I could. I could go up here. See, there's a uh, crashed plane up there. Sorry, helicopter right there. Which usually has matches. I don't really need anything from there. Not really. So um, I think we'll leave that. Just because you can loot something doesn't mean you have to loot something. <laughs> you know? Um, so we're going to wait to do that. Now, in if I was uh, in any, any other run, I probably would have just left these guts to cure. I would just left them in the um, the bunker or something, because I'm adding like a scent to me now, which is kind of unnecessary. It just adds a whole other issue of attracting wolves. But uh, in this run, I wouldn't like to have as much as possible, so I'll, I'll bring it, and we'll just deal with the wolves, you know. Uh, I might have to drop some more because I'm going to pick up some more of these cattails on the way out. Uh, seeing as... Let's just drop, uh, let's drop this. Seeing as we're going to go inside now and craft quite a few things. We're going to craft the bow, we're going to craft some arrows. And I think we can do a lot of that in one day. We're still going to be indoors, so we need food for a little while to maintain our well-fed. Uh, because I 
can't see over the ridge. I think I'll carry this. Uh, no wolves, okay. And because it's late in the day, I think we can run a little bit. We're warm though, so we're not in a hurry as such. It's mostly I, I just want to get out of the wolves. It's actually one degree. <laughs> so we're actually warm walking around there. That's not bad for a run where you can only craft stuff. I'm only wearing crafted things and I have frostbite risk. And despite all of that, on day 17, I'm walking around and I'm warm on Interloper. Now that's a sight I don't think I <laughs> expected to see. But that's the power of the crafted clothing, isn't it? If you get the crafted clothing, then uh, yeah, you got a lot of good stuff. So the moose wasn't up by the water, so when we do get the bow, I probably need to go and get the moose um, in probably Edge, was it called? Marsh, Marsh Ridge, or whatever it's called, and uh, we'll go to the Pleasant Valley. There's a wolf over there. Let's try and avoid this wolf. He, yeah. Wow, he saw me from that far away, huh? Fine. We got flares. Let's head to Trappers. Or rather, Camp Office, sorry. I always go to Trappers as my base, but of course we have a Camp Office this time. So we're gonna go there. And start crafting. Saplings over here? No. As long as there's saplings there. We don't really need them anyway, we got a lot of saplings. Oh, we got the wind straight in our face. Right in our face. The wolf shouldn't be an issue though. The wolf is more like... Uh, this is called walking the dog. The wolf is on you and he's not going to attack. The wolf will just be like this when he's, they aggro you, they just follow you. You know, they stalk you. But they don't really attack until they get too close. So if you just walk normally, they will never really catch up to you. You can just walk with your back to them. Uh, you might want to look at them though just for extra security. There are instances where they can attack you. Me personally, I think it's only happened maybe two or three times in total of all the years that I've been actually charged by the wolf that's following me. And usually that's because I walk a little bit too far away from the wolf and then they sprint to catch up because they try to stay within a certain range of you. I would if I sprint now, I think you will also sprint to catch up. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem like it's far enough. No, I didn't, but sometimes they will sprint to catch up. And if you're unlucky, it will sprint too close and then that will trigger a charge. So that happens. Uh, but it's very, very rare that it happens. Uh, in general, I wouldn't worry about the wolf. But just be ready for it, though. Have a have a flare ready or uh, the bow or, or the stress pistol or whatever. Something to deter the wolf in case he attacks. So just be just be ready for it, basically. But you should be safe just walking away from the dog. Should be fine. Um, the other thing is, um, the only exception really to that is if you're walking at night, when it's night time, the wolves don't always stalk you. They can, of course, but if a wolf comes up behind you, uh, it, has, it happens that they don't make a sound. They just walk up behind you and then they don't do the whole barking aggro sound and then it just charge you. So if you're walking around in the dark and you go around corners or you're slow and you suddenly have woof woof woof, you know, then a uh, wolf has come up to you from behind. Uh, it's happened to me a couple times where I've been walking in the dark and then there's suddenly a wolf just comes out of nowhere and uh, attacks me. I have to react fast, but usually it should be okay. Uh, there's also a streamer who's not active right now, but uh, I think it was Mike the Coffee Cup. He uh, was just walking around and then uh, he um, 
so suddenly a wolf came out of nowhere because he was following him from behind and it was nighttime and he just didn't see it. <laughs> so that happens. Okay, so we are now going back to camp office. And let the crafting begin. This should make the whole rest of the journey easier because now we can actually hunt. We need a couple wolf pelts. We need a couple bear pelts. I don't think we need ptarmigan feather so we can leave the ptarmigans. Uh, I could just grab one if I can manage to hit them that is. And we need to kill a moose also. I don't know if I really need the ptarmigan but uh, we can go for it. A bit closer. And... Hiya! There you go. Something's gotta go. How is that later? Alright, let's go inside. Okay. Let's put this here. These are fresh too. These are cured, so let's just put them like a bit more. Oh, well, kind of cured. Put them like here, maybe. And then we need to organize some of our stuff. <laughs> we got too much stuff here. Let's do some inventory management. Let's start with this. <clears throat> Just stacking a bunch of stuff. Okay, what else have I got? I got some, f oh, I need the flares. We got some books and whatnot. Let's go upstairs, put stuff in there. Be easy to organize this way. Why am I carrying this? Oh, the town again, cool. <laughs> uh, and then I think, yeah, let's drop actually the salt and that. I think we don't need these right now. They came in handy for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so here we have that. Is there anything? No. Just those things. Let's see. We don't need this. There's a lot of tin that we need to get that. Let's put these two in there. We might finish these books. Uh, sure. Let's put one of these in here. We don't need all of these either. So put these in there. And then we'll keep this for the moment. All of this stuff. Except for the oil actually. The oil we can just put here. Uh, for the time being, anyway. Might pick it up later. There we are. <laughs> uh, and then we got here, we got can open on that. I guess we can, yeah, let's put this in there. That in there. Two of these. Two of these. Let's drop the jerry can. It's kind of heavy. That I don't know here or something. Oh, I have books here too. <laughs> Even more books. I forgot about that. But I think they're so easy to miss. I'm just gonna put them in here. Uh, let's actually quickly just finish this book. There's no confusion. Yeah, let me drop that. You put one of them in here. Have the other one on to read. And then, let's see, what else is there? Scrap metal in that. And I guess that's it. Put two of these in that. I guess that's it, yeah. We can also refuel this with what little accelerant we have. And now, I think we're more or less ready to craft. So let's harvest this. Let's just use it by hand, actually. <clears throat> because, um getting late and we can just do this. Oh, an Aurora. We can actually craft in that case. Let's uh, eat something. Let's eat this. Waste nothing, but still. Uh, let's also put the, the feathers in here. There we are. Let's have some um, meat. That's actually, let's get the buffer memory. Yeah. Bear 
activity around Mystery Lake region is pronounced, although human interaction by all accounts is very rare. This is to be expected this time of year, and based on the available data, we can make the following conclusions. Okay. <clears throat> to be concluded, I guess. Let's eat this. Drop this. And make that later. Have a drink. And then we can actually start crafting, I think, while uh, the aurora is on, and then we can sleep. That will be good. Uh, so, we need... It's a bit hard to see, so let's just... We need the maple saplings. Way over here, yeah. Let's make the bow first. And then we need cured guts, two of those. So, one... Two. And we want to make... How many arrows can we make? We can make 12, so we need... One, two, three, four of these, and we'll use this too. Okay. Let's start with the bow. Bow first. And we'll just do this for as long as we can. <clears throat> Eventually we'll stop because of the aurora will end. But this is very convenient. Okay, it ended. But then I think we just go upstairs. We can just use the uh, windows to navigate. Go up like this. There we are. And then we just need to sleep until it's daylight, really. And that's it. Uh, where's the bed? There's the bed right there. And then we're going to eat some of these. Until we have a full stomach. So we don't have to worry about it when we wake up. And we're just going to sleep until daylight hits. And then that's it. And then we're good to go, really. Then we need to start hunting. And a couple more. Yeah, and then this. There we are. And let's sleep uh, maybe five hours? Try five hours. Okay, it's daytime. Frostberry is secured. 16 days survived. Let's have another drink. Sounds like a blizzard outside, well that's fine. Then we can do... Finish the boat. One and a half hours. And... Yeah! We got the bow. Awesome. But now we need arrows. Let's make arrow shafts first. Twelve of them. And it's selected each time, which is a bit silly. I only have a twelve hour head, so then it's twelve. And then we actually level up archery by making arrows. So we will level up a little bit by making them. There we go. Let's eat a bit more. Another drink. And let's craft these. We're going to use these to speed it up. With quality tools. Uh, if you look. It takes one and a half hours with by hand, but this takes 45, so it's half. If you use simple tools, it's just over an hour. Let's make four. Go from there. We'll make as many as we can. Uh, we can probably make at least two more. Let's try. Oh, crow feathers, my bad. They're in here. No, oh, there's all the ptarmigans. <laughs> oh, we should be able to make uh, probably two more arrows, I think. Yeah, probably two. Let's go. I can be dehydrated a bit. One more, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Uh, we could maybe make one more. 
think it's still enough light for that. Yeah. And then we go again upstairs, navigate through the the windows. You just look for the windows and then you know exactly where we are on this space, which is one of the good things about it. And this face is window, and then you turn left, and there's the bed. Kinda running low on water though. Well let's just eat. This is why I picked up all the cat tails, because I knew I would be at least one whole day in here, probably more. And um then I need all these cattails. We probably need even more food, but we have ptarmigans outside. We can make ptarmigan pies if we want. So we can just cook the ptarmigan by itself. Also, we can go hunting. We don't really need deer though, but we need moose. I don't really care. I, I might eat like bear meat or whatever anyway. Doesn't matter if we get parasites. And then water is running low. We have a little bit of water outside, but we can also just make water. It's not a big deal. Okay, there we are. Uh, I think we'll sleep 10 hours because it's quite early in the night. If we get an aurora, that's fine. It is just morning. So let's go down. We can use the same thing. We can use the windows to navigate down. Windows here. Downstairs windows. Water. Window by the door. Window by the office, so we'll just go this way, and then until we can't go back, and then window by the workbench, and here we are. Let's have a drink. So we do darkness navigation in the space. And this is make the rest, which is one. <laughs> one arrow. And there we go. Let's also drop now this. Don't need this anymore, for the time being anyway. Let's go here and put in these. Uh, I want to keep five for my hardened arrows. And now, da -da, we got 12 arrows. So now we can go out and hunt. I think I'm going to make, since I have two wolf pelts, we'll make a wolf coat. So we need two more of these. And we need two bear pelts to make a bear coat. Alternat alternatively, we can get two moose, so a moose coat um, and a moose high uh, satchel. Um, and also, I guess that's it actually, but we want to make the moose hide satchel. I need to make another one of these, which actually I could maybe even do now. Uh, one. Because we need, how many do we need for that? Three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, let's just do that too. Or at least start on it. I'm gonna get cabin fever, but that's okay. It's gonna take the whole day, but this is do it. Oh, that broke. Then we got even more stuff. <laughs> I could make this while other stuff is curing, but I'm just gonna do things one step at a time. Uh, I'm just gonna go as far as I can here. I don't really care about dehydration. I do care about well-fed though, so I need to stop before I lose my well-fed bonus. Which is that. And I'm not sure actually if we can... Uh, if we can make this before it's daytime. Let's just keep eating these. Quite a lot of cattails. I'm glad I have so many. We're gonna get to cabin fear risk now soon, I think. That's okay, we're gonna go out and hunt anyway. Just eat a bunch of these. It does make life a bit easier. Yeah, the background munching has been dampened because of the sound filter. Okay, that's good. Let's see how far can we get with this. Can we actually make it? 58 minutes. We might be able to make it. Need a drink. Yeah, we'll make it because even if it stops, which it didn't. Yeah, we got it. Ta -da. Ta -da. Two deer skin pants. Look at that. Fantastic. Save this. Nice.
Okay, so... I might actually do one thing. If the weather permits. How dark is it? It's pretty dark, actually. I was going to check if the bear is out there, but I don't think there's any point to doing that. Uh, I think instead we will just wait till morning. But yeah, we got... Uh, oh, did I take one too many there hides? Okay. Oops. Drop that back here. Uh, that we can get rid of. Let's put it in a container. Uh, yeah, we're quite light now, so which is good. Quite light. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's go uh, sleep, I think. Or at least pass time. We can't really read. Uh, if we're extremely lucky, we'll get one hour in, but I don't think we are going to be able to do that. But we could try. Uh, I don't think it's going to work, though. No. <laughs> it wasn't even... Not even close. Uh, let's just pass some time. Uh, so we can sleep until morning. That's probably enough, actually. We do need to make water, but I'm going to go hunting now anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. So let's do 10 hours. Okay, it's not morning, but let's have a look outside. What's the weather like? It's okay, actually. Yeah, sun's coming up. Okay, uh, I think, though, might want to wait maybe one hour. Maybe read the book. The doctor, or barely too dark, though. There we are. Then have a drink. And just to make it a little bit light outside, let's read for one hour. Almost cooking level three, which is great. And I think that's good enough. Let's have a look. <clears throat> okay, there's a one bear by Trappers, I think. Let's see if the other one is out here. Uh, food wise, we're fine, yeah. So I saw one bear by Trappers, so it should be there. But then there's another one, which is probably here. I didn't see any moose. So we need to go somewhere else with the moose. But the bear comes first, because bear takes 12 days to cure. So we'll have to get that first. And we need two wolves as well. After that, we've pretty much got it, really. The moose is the main concern. Uh, if I find a bedroll, I guess also upgrade the bedroll. I don't see any wolves or bears. Oh, it's, it's cold, but also uh, decently, these nice day, sun's coming up, nice and light. Bit cold, but that's okay. Let's have a quick look here. Sign kit, wood. And soup. Those wolves over there. Let's see, there's usually wolves out there somewhere. They weren't here when I arrived either, actually, now that I think about it. I will see the bear if he's out, so we'll check. You don't really need to loot anything around here, particularly. We'll grab some cattails and that, though. For food. We don't really need much more than that. Feet. I don't see the bear. I 
This den is like over there. Okay. And no wolves. I mean, I guess we'll go to trappers in that case. Doesn't have to be here. Die if I don't warm up soon. Yeah, we'll go to trappers, I think. No wolves either. Let's go back inside. Let's uh, sleep for an hour or two. The weather's now not bad now, but it's still very cold because it's early morning. Let's go back inside, warm up, maybe sleep for an hour, and then we'll go back down to trappers, kill the bear, and then we need to find the other bear, which is probably by unnamed. I think it is by unnamed pond actually, because I think another call. I think about it. I think I did look for some rabbits there, didn't I? I think it is by unnamed pond, yeah. Let's see. Did I miss any cattails? No, okay. Let's go. Could use some more food, but we should be fine. But let's go and sleep for an hour here. Maybe two, yeah, let's sleep two hours. Two hours is better, a warm up and everything. Do that. There we are, Frostbite Risk is healed too. Uh, let's just eat a little bit, eat some of these. If only you could eat them in bundles so you don't have to click so much. Let's go, cattail diet. <laughs> I wish I had even more of these, but we should cook soon. So it should be, it should be okay. A few more. Maybe two more. Yeah. And now the only issue, I don't have water. I could just make water now, but um, I think we will make it when we cook. Okay, let's go. Mm, visibility is reduced, but it's warmer. Let's go. Mm, actually, we'll go this way first. Check on name pond because we can go to trappers and we can go milk and then kill a moose, for example. And we might find some wolves there too. It's usually a few wolves around here. Crossbow race comes again. I don't really need any more deer other than having deer. Whoa. Why is there something here? I heard these crows, but I thought it was further down, but it's not any, usually anything here. What's this? Oh, there's a corpse. I don't think I ever looted a corpse there. We don't need this, but I'm just curious why this is even there. Grab wood because what's a wood situation? Eh, it's okay. Hmm. We'll grab some sticks. We don't really need acorns. We can make pancakes, I suppose. But we don't really need them. They're down there. But we're gonna head to our name pond. So I don't need rabbits or, or deer anymore because I already crafted all that stuff. 
I do. I mean, I can. I still need them for maintenance, of course, and I need uh, the meat for for food because I get parasite risk with the other ones. Sorry about that. Uh, so I could do that, but I'm just going to take the parasite risk. So often, what I do is when I kill a bear in the early game, you just take the risk and you eat a couple pieces per day and you get like a 4% risk of parasites and you usually don't get it but if you do get it then so be it there's a wolf okay and it's quite warm so i'm going to just kill him and um we're not gonna cook his meat Where are you going? Grab the hide, we'll leave the rest. For now. Yeah, we need one more. Let's go this way. Usually a wolf around here too. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. <laughs> so many acorn trees. It's often a wolf hit too. Guess not today, but I think there should be a bear down here. By the way, this uh, video is released, or at least, sorry, recorded prior to the next DLC. So if you're watching this at some point in the future, the current state of the game as of this recording is a DLC part three, the Frontier Cooking. No, Frontier Comfort, sorry. We got the cooking system and all that stuff. But in about two or three weeks from this video, we'll get part four which adds vitamin C to the game. So that's something that's going to change a lot. It's going to change how you consume items. But as of this recording, that's not applied yet, so you don't have to worry about it. There's a wolf and there's a bear. Uh, we can probably get both. Try a long distance shot there. He got scared. Oh, we got magic bear again. It's the magic bear. Walking on air. The magic bear. He killed the wolf too, but uh, should be right. So there's many different ways we can kill this bear. Safest is from the hunter's blind. The main thing is I don't really want him to go away. I don't want him to run off, that's the thing. I want to have an escape route in case he does come for me. If I can get a couple of shots in the head, I should be fine. Look at you, Mr. Bear. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> okay, we got the bear. The wolf will come once I start harvesting this guy. Oh, I've been here before. I thought I, thought I had, yeah. Okay, uh, now I think we can make a fire here. There's the wolf. Let's, uh. He'll come over eventually. Yeah. I can't feel my hands. We probably won't. cook the entire bear, just as far as we can. And we'll go from there. Nice music. Uh, 
we're gonna quarter him, I think. Let's uh, make some water. Mouth so dry. Before we quarter him, though, we're going to harvest a few meats from him. Four, I'd say. So then I can cook. While we quarter. There we go. And I'll do two liters here. Cook this. 50. Okay, so quarter this for one hour, so about half. So that. And then do this again. And quarter the rest. And there we go. We have that. Something's gotta go. Need a tra. Okay, we got that. We're attracting wolves, but that's fine. We want to kill a wolf anyway. Okay, we're heavy. I'm gonna eat one of these. I don't really care if I get parasite risk. Okay, so let's see. Here we are. Thank you. Just on time. Ah. Uh, the fire scared him off. I thought he would stop a bit closer. He'll, come, he'll be back. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, decisions. I think we'll cook a bit more. Which water I have? Okay, amount. Let's let's do another two of those. And do that. I think mean, that's good enough. And then we can harvest some of this while we wait. So even if we don't cook it, at least it will be here. There we are. Oh wait, oh yeah, well whatever, I'm just gonna carry it. Eight minutes, two minutes, okay. We can... Which stuff to carry? Yeah. That's alright. We'll cook as long as we can, really. Then we had the trappers. Take that. Let's cook another one. Uh, we'll only, I think we'll only cook that one. We need to kill this wolf, also. Anyone? I better take this food. This should be enough. We might leave the rest for now. Okay. Cooked water. How heavy are we? Pretty heavy. I think I'm carrying one of these also. Yeah, I am. Take that. Take that. Uh, we'll leave the rest for the moment. We'll come back to it. Uh, we'll leave a bit more of these meat, actually. Especially the smaller ones. So drop that. And drop this. Let's kill this wolf. Yeah. Grab the hide quick. And there we go. Okay, let's go to the trappers. We can drop this to cure. And then we'll have our wolf pelts and we have a bear pelt, but we need one more bear. Should be one in trappers though. I don't know we need the moose. I haven't seen the moose here. And in Fallen Mask here, I think it might be by Marsh Ridge. But we can go there via Milton. I think we'll head over here now for the other bear. And we'll kill that one. And then we'll go to Mountain Town. I think that's the best. And look for a moose there. Should be most likely there. Okay. 
getting late, but we still have lots of energy, so possibly just keep going. We'll see. If more wolves attack me, I'm just gonna kill those two. Let's see. I need some more woods. We will get some coal though in a minute. Because we're gonna go through, well maybe not right now, but very soon we're gonna go through the Milton Cave. And when we do, we're gonna get coal. Uh, let's see. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, well, we're going to trap us, so you'll be fine. You're going to escape the cold, don't you worry. <laughs> okay, we'll see if the bear is out too. But it's still kind of warm, so we can just walk, to be honest. We can just walk it. The only issue with walking up here like this is that unless you pay very close attention you can very easily get ambushed by a wolf here. Because you can't see anything. The headset is very important because there's the... you can't see anything and it's a, a, an incline and a wolf could come over the corner and then you're dead. So cool. But if you have a good headset or you just listen closely, you can hear little little paw prints, little paw steps before you get over the ridge. Alright, let's go in here. We'll warm up a little bit. Drop this to cure. Hello fellow survivors, editing Sack here, jumping in to interrupt this broadcast of Great Bear. I'm going to leave you here because this is the end of part 2 of the Torchless Craftsman. Why? Because I only thought that if we needed 2 episodes to actually do this and craft everything and hunt everything, but it took much longer than I thought and actually it's still quite a while to go so I'm actually going to end it here and then there will be a part three where we will continue hunting the second bear and the moose and then we got to craft all the stuff and that itself is quite a challenge because it takes a while to make these things and you need resources to do it so because of that we're ending a bit abruptly because i actually kind of lost track of how long i've been recording this time usually i have a general idea of how long i've been doing these things but this time in this video um there was a, a lot of issues that <laughs> meant that I had to very often pause the game many, many, many times. Uh, and I kind of lost track of how long I'd been recorded. And before I knew it, the video became very, very long. So instead of having one gigantic video, we're going to have three parts. So this is the end of part two. We got the bow. We got the first bear kill. And we're on our way. But tune in for the next part for the rest of the kills as well as the crafting, and then this challenge will be complete. Thank you for watching, survivors, and I'll see you in part three. Bye-bye.